Guys, guys, what's up? Comic Combos. We are at Comic Combos episode 11, Axel. We passed 10? Yeah, we passed 10. Can you believe that? It's crazy to think about, but I mean, I obviously we have, and obviously we've kept some pretty consistent viewership. Uh, you know, with nothing super crazy, but dude, we love everybody who comes in. Cy, we already saw you in the comments. Yeah, Thank thanks, Cy, for, for the comments. Uh, uh, you know, it's so important for us that... Thank you, everyone, for dropping in, by the way, yeah, today. Certainly. You know? And all, all our viewers and live viewers, uh, remember there's going to be live conversation. We're talking and chatting with you in the chat, and we're giving away prizes every week. Uh, in fact, maybe we'll start off the night with the prizes this week, but with the winners of last week. Yeah, we'll start off with some of the winners last week. Um, we so, definitely have quite a few people that won last week. We got a shirt here. Lawless was DH Lawless. DH Lawless won for a uh, second time, first, first collection. Second but, time. <laughs> second win, first collection, but Didge picked out the Captain America T. Sorry, Tyler, we know you wanted we know you wanted that, Tyler. No, I'm I sorry. Mean, but man. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lawless is the one that chose you want the it, shirt. And that's that's the way. Uh we also have several uh comic books to give away that were picked, uh, as opposed to shirts, which almost surprised me. Yeah, but we I got guess we have some pretty popular comic books. We got uh Wolverine. Yeah, this we'll one went to Dino actually. Great pick. Um great pick, Marvel Knights, always good choice. We have Jazzy picked the uh Weapon X Age of Apocalypse edition. Uh awesome awesome story about Wolverine, a whole whole thing with him and Jean for anybody who doesn't know about Age of Apocalypse, check it out. There's a lot of twisted not like Twisted, just different ways things turned out. And Twisted. <laughs> and we got Cloak and Dagger. Awesome, by the way. Great uh, couple of characters. And picked by Andrew Hall, I believe. Yeah, Andrew uh, Hall. So Adrian we will... Hall, excuse me. Adrian Hall, not Sorry, Andrew. Adrian. Sorry, Adrian. Our apologies. Uh, aside from that, uh, we'll be sending them soon. Sorry. Oh, no. Uh, we'll be hopefully... Oh, yep, almost forgot that. We'll be hopefully sending them out soon. We got the envelopes here already for the comics. Uh, the shirt, DH, will take a little longer. We're going to have to go get a special, special package or just a different sized envelope to send you. Uh, hopefully you guys will get those within the standard mail time, which is about two business weeks. Um, if not, uh, let us know, and we'll see what's up with the postage. The shipping, yeah. yeah. We'll, definitely, we'll definitely get those out to you guys as yeah, soon as we, possible. We want you, uh, for other people who don't know, and you should check out some of the posts on the page, Josh, who was one of our first collected winners... Uh, actually collected his prize of what if, uh, I believe it was, the X-Men were formed by Professor X and Magneto. Ah, and super he, good what there's if. There's a picture of him uh, holding his prize on the page. If you want to go check it out, he even commented. Thank and you guys, when you get your, so get your picture, you, you know, go ahead and take a picture when you get your prize. Send it to us. But here we are again tonight, guys. Comic Convos. Leo Rydell, Axel Grave, back for another week of conversations about the awesomest oh. stuff happening in comics right now. Comics, movies, TV, games, guys. We There's so much politics. going on, too. There's oh so much going so on. So for those, I feel like, so we know that this is a Power Rangers cast. Unfortunately, I haven't seen Power Rangers. It's Heard good things, so saw, I also did a quick, basically, scan, edit through of a version. And having known the plot for most movies, it's usually pretty easy for you to scan through a movie. And, like, mm. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you Very can few up. exceptions of, like, twisty M. Night Shyamalan, Lamalan stuff. Oh, know. man. <laughs> uh, but I want to start off on a little lighter, maybe not lighter, but a little smaller note in something that's more recent and more finished, I guess. I guess not. Well, more finished because now the Power Rangers is more of an opening for them. Mm -hmm. Legion ended. Yeah. It just just, just, just this wrapped week, up. Yesterday. Uh, no spoilers. Uh, I will say that all together, that's a great series. Yeah. Yeah, from start to finish, I enjoyed it. Seen it up to episode five. It I just will tell better, you. Better oh yeah, episode. and I'll tell you what. The last three episodes are the most intense episodes. Yeah, I feel like this is an, uh, the way a TV show it escalates every episode. Every episode is an mm -hmm. escalation into the from next the piece. From the last one to the next one. Which, every time. which obviously people are like, it starts slow. Well, yeah, I mean, if you start at a million miles an hour, where do you, how do you go up from that? Exactly, exactly. It's, it's the same problem as, like, great shows. Like, you can have three great seasons, but then... Said so don't finish strong. And up to start. episode five, man. I thought it was even good. I, it probably peaks at six, huh? It's just like it's honestly, crazier. seven is probably the peak. Yeah, eight is a nice wrap up into the next season. That's good. Which I almost assure you they're getting. I can almost they assure are. you it's already been greenlit. Has it been greenlit? Yeah, it's yeah. been greenlit. It's so freaking good. I can't tell you how much better. And I've even like I said, not as a comic book 
specific genre, but maybe it's just a show, one of the better shows. I agree. It's one of the better shows, period. Better. Yeah, it's very good. And there's holes. Hey there, Jaseel. Hey, thank you. You guys watch Iron Fist? What'd you think? Yeah, I we actually did a cast did. on it last week. Yeah, we weekend. did. We, we will we will it. retouch on it since now people are catching up to our our uh, you know binging selves. Yeah, exactly. What's um, up, Kevin? How yeah, you thanks doing, for man? coming in, everybody. Thanks for coming in. Uh, we did, and I definitely really enjoyed it personally as a person. Not maybe not as a critic, a hundred percent as much as I did as a person. Yeah, and I think we talked about fan? this last week. Yeah. As a fan, we really liked it. Critiquing different. Difference. And we'll definitely I, move into that. In right, we'll critique it a little heavier as we go. We, we're obviously not giving too many spoilers. I will say at this point, though, for, as far as Netflix series go, uh, we are past a spoiler point in Netflix series area. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Like, Once Jessica the, Jones, uh, Luke Cage is past, y'all. Let's get yeah. caught up. You guys need to get caught up on that. <laughs> uh, I see... What's up, the, Andrew? Good Andrew. to see ya. My bad, Miss West. No, hey, no worries. No worries. Guess what? Iron Fist. It was really good, and we're it definitely was. gonna glaze over it in our television. We, we section. are. We'll 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 do that more after we cut into movies. We like I said, we started with Legion more because it had just finished, and it was Thanks more for the likes, of a, y'all. Thanks so much. We really appreciate the interaction. We love like I said, talking to you is the best part of this. Like, exactly. The more interaction and talking, the, the more we know what to talk about. Like yeah, I said, yeah, we love you get... guys conversating with us. Let us know um, what you guys want to talk about, but we'll. Kind of sliding into movies here, yeah. So, you know, we've talked about, let's do a little bit of previous recap. Mm-hmm. We've had this year some really big movies like Logan and now Huge. Power Rangers. And, now, yeah, and you know, it's crazy, right? Because you think, you're, you're, you're questioning yourself, and I know, you know, some of the 2017 moviegoers may have th- thought this as well. We have a lot of remakes, we have mm-hmm. a lot of reboots, we have a lot of sequels. How are things going to go this year with all those things? And Logan and Power Rangers have already answered that question for us. They're going Things well. are going well. I mean, just because it's the same idea, it's also a new one brought from original ideas. Right, and which is what I feel like when people are critiquing a lot of the time, they're not taking into account that this is not supposed to be your it's kid not the child. Original. No. no. This is a reimagining of Power Rangers. Exactly. And does it have issues? I'm sure it does. I'm, I could already probably see a couple plot holes just in my scan of it. Yeah. And, but and that's every are. movie. Yeah, exactly. That's every movie. And every right? reboot is definitely Oh, God, reboots. reboots. What's up, Christian? Good to see you tonight. We're talking about some Power Rangers right now. Just kind of sliding into movies. Um, but yeah, definitely Power Rangers. Um, you know, man, there were, there were quite a few people that were surprised in a good way. Right. And there were people that really didn't like it. But for me, I liked it. I thought it kind of... No female, no female Green, Green Ranger. Ranger. I agree with that. Um, I just wanted to stay as Tommy. Uh, there was an interesting post though that somebody threw out today that because the Blue Rangers autistic, which is not spoiling, it's actually on the, been on the internet for a while. Um, he's autistic, so they were thinking that the Green Ranger could be bipolar, which I'm like, I guess it will make sense for Tommy's character in and, the beginning because he's the white and the Green Ranger or what have you. Right. But I don't know. Maybe just not touch too much Here's into my that thing. stuff. It's if you're going to address those issues, they shouldn't be side issues. Yeah. Those are serious issues that need to be addressed with their own superheroes, realistically, unfortunately. And like, not to like separate them from our heroes. You can have heroes who are affected by these things, but that shouldn't be something you just tack on. Yeah, it can't be something that you just... It shouldn't be what this would you light out of ten. Uh, out of ten, out of ten I would go ahead and give it a seven and a half. About seven and a half, eight. It's worth the watch. That's Absolutely. Um, it's... And it's got some great... My thing about this new Power Rangers is that it actually has a more realistic build-up for the Power Rangers. Um, when we were kids, and you go back and watch this, you notice how cheesy and how things just sort of click together it's for the Rangers. It's very Japanese. It's very Japanese so. in the sense that like things click for them. Like They're already training in martial arts. They already know all these fighting styles, and they already, they're already pretty much in peak physical shape. That's not the case in this one. Right, they're going to have to tr- train up. And exactly. I think that they kind of gave that impression. Not only did they give that impression of that they were not trained as the original cat, you know, storyline had been, but that you had mentioned it when we were talking earlier that they didn't seem as familiar. And especially in the scenes where they interact, exactly. uh, the, one, well, the one preview that comes to mind for me is the whole Black Ranger thing. He's like, dude, I'm black. He's like, no, you're not. <laughs> I kind of am. Yeah, I'm black. <laughs> dude, yeah, it's... It's 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 good in the sense that they have to actually go through some character building. I think that's building. cool. And character building is very good, especially for this new thing. Here's the thing, like you said, we wouldn't have been happy with a 100% rehash. Exactly. Okay. 
uh, you know, if we had gotten a 100% rehash of the old story, basically retrofitted, we'd have hated it. We would have hated it, even with the new graphics and stuff. Like, we've talked about how the old Power Rangers series does not stand up to time. Unless you are a very big Kamui Woods. <laughs> if you're, like, into Super Sentai and stuff like that, like, yeah. you are a loyal fan of those Japanese shows, you'll, you'll like love it. Power Rangers And, like, endlessly. I still like it to a point, especially more for nostalgia. It's enjoyable for nostalgia's But as I can sake. see as, like, an entertainment goer that is not necessarily high quality it's not hype man and so you wouldn't want it's that you know uh, and and if anybody else has seen it please tell us what you would rate it and what you think yeah Obviously, let us know what like you guys think for us a lot of this is the chat i'm sure a lot of the time you guys just uh tune in to hear us drone on <laughs> no, <laughs> but yeah you guys we love we love to hear you guys' yeah, feedback we, you, i mean obviously you would. guys make the cast seriously do. um we really we, we love appreciate all you, our views by the thank way you. christian Sai, you have been, there are just Sai, people and, and coming back i think we need we, we were gonna tell Sai in a comment i don't know if we told Sai we need you to like the page so we can send you something send you, you would have won this week we we need you to we really need you to like the page Sai, because you've won you won, you won and we, we would have been able to send you a prize but and we, we've had this issue before where we're not able to tag people Unfortunately, who haven't liked the page? We, we're, we just can't. We've exactly, tried. exactly. Um, Breaking down Power Rangers a little bit more. Ooh, it's just the whole thing about the their their um, bond is that it creates a struggle for the Power Rangers. There is always this sense of like they can do everything. Like especially Jason, you know what I mean? It seemed like at the end of the day, the Red Ranger at least could defeat any threat that comes along. Right, at the end of the day, they pulled together. Well, and even more than that, it wasn't even that. I mean, yes, in the original show, was there a lot of focus on the Red Ranger? But at the end of the day, there was always a monster, basically, an insurmountable goal that could only be achieved with the with Red the, Ranger. Well, with the Red Ranger, but with everybody. Yeah, coming I, together. I mean, you I mean, and well, leading, yeah. don't get me wrong, he was always the leader. Uh, and very much so, there was a whole thing about it, too, which I thought was very kind of high level for a kid's show at the time. And it was at the time. Kid shows are so pandering in in the nineties, uh, crazily pandering. That the, when they had the whole power struggle between Tommy and, and Jason, Jason, that was something that was very much spoke to me. Like at that age, where I was like, you know, that's something like, oh yeah, I mean, who's in charge? Exactly, because it it made you question the dynamics of the group. Right. What's up, Michael? Oh god, there's How you doing? there is Michael. I told you you're gonna be waiting a while, Michael. Keep commenting though. Do it. Keep doing it. But guys, like, seriously, that... And and, and it's crazy, too, because you talk about the whole green and red ranger. I was reading up about that earlier, and there's a scene where Zordon crowns uh, Tommy as a new leader. Mm -hmm. And Jason just sort of backs down. He's just sort of like, oh, okay. Like, he smiles. Like, literally, it's like... He is. He's, he's like, like you're, a... you're the new leader of the Power Rangers. Yeah. And then Jason's just like, dude, you deserved it. Like, what? It was, but after that, that was after... The whole... That's the thing. That's a single scene after, like... The debacle. Four episodes. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, like... And that's the thing we forget is, yeah, are they very not well-written, but these Power Rangers, the thing about them that made them so memorable is their storylines in these things. There's, like, three episodes of a monster, not just, like, the typical 90s show where mm -hmm. the villain shows up and you beat him beat by the him end right of the show. Beat him right away. Team Rocket's show. blasting off again! Now, to the point, yes, is it Reader Pulse of the villain, but even then, they eventually evolved into Zed, mm -hmm. and they have the movies. By the way, the movies are way... Way better than shows and still not Oh, great. yeah. <laughs> Actually, the second movie... Miles was, better. Yeah, Miles better and still not great. But, you know, we, we are childhood. I don't... Oh, it's Michael and Tommy's nature show. Urban nature show. I'll, I'll, I'll love you later, nerd. You, you are a nerd too, Michael. Stop. <laughs> I just, like, stop, stop spamming. spamming. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Everyone spam more. Get them out of here. Just like, <laughs> Let's all spam. Let's all, just all spam. But, um, yeah, you know, Power Rangers, definitely get 7.5 out of 10, guys. We definitely recommend, um, if anybody's seen it, by the way, throw out your opinions, you know? Seriously. Let us know. I know this film wasn't exactly one of those where it's like, oh, we, it's just a must-see, like, Logan and it's not totally Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, God. And we, we were talking, all right, so with movies coming up, we've talked, we have to talk about trailers and the importance of a trailer. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I think in terms of trailers, there was just one this week that I really loved, especially for the character. But at the same time, the spoilers seemed a little bit much, don't you think? It was too much for the Spider-Man. It was. It was a And it was too great much. because at the first, when you just see, like, oh, there's a Spider-Man thing, the very first thing you see in that little 10-second clip that Facebook pops up or wherever you're watching 
is the spiders the the spiders popping off a suit, which the is suit, awesome. Which is dope. Awesome. That's what we want in Fucking a trailer. Awesome. Yes. Uh, what we don't want is a ton of story exposition. No. We don't. We don't need. Man, the thing about some that trailer is that it spoiled a little too much with the plot. Like we want to. We want the plot to unfold in the movie like the other movies did. From the trailer, we just want a little clip of what we might see, what we might actually witness happening. What little clips of the plot? That's not enough to give anything away. Right, and we talked about how a great example is Guardians. I'm gonna break away just to address some of the comments. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Christian said he has not seen it yet. Great. Jazzy says she's agrees with a seven out of ten. So I'll have to go check it out. Michael says knock knock. Uh, Sai says, will I message you? Uh, I, he says, you think you can't tag me because of my privacy settings. Unfortunately, if we can't tag you, Sai, we're not able to really... And I think it is the privacy settings, Sai. Um, if you have your privacy settings set to private, like not at, not able to add friends or something like that, I think that's what will block it. Um, so just head into your privacy and block that, or unlock it, and then feel free to, you know, put it back up after the cast. I mean, we're not going to force you to keep that. No, down, realistically, and even if you just, obviously if you were, uh, the problem is we can't really tag you, so we're not able to really let you know on Friday tomorrow um, when you would get your prize. Uh, I, we can maybe start doing the messaging system, but it's just harder for us to find people like that. It's, we can't tag people who aren't, aren't liking the page, and we can't really find you unless we go search very specifically by name. And even then, uh, then we have to... Yeah, exactly. It's like we... We just, very much want you, but we, we're obviously also running the prize thing. And, uh, and we just need you guys to like the page, that's all. And thank you for tuning in. We're like horse. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, we are. We uh, really aside are. from that, you know, yeah, definitely check it out, Christian. We're saying for the Guardians of the Galaxy trailer, they did the exact perfect trailer, basically. Guardians of the Galaxy Both have been... There, there's been like a couple teasers, trailers here and there. Everything, everything. It's been amazing. Yeah, Every awesome. single one has been great because it doesn't it doesn't reveal too much, and it reveals enough to keep you interested. Exactly. It gives you all the things you want. So what do we want out of a trailer? We want to see our characters first of all. How whatever characters those are. Exactly. In whatever way they see, even if it's just a flash, sometimes. For example, when they flash the villain, they only flash the vulture a couple times, a couple which should have been one. right. Like you said, the first Spider Man. Uh, Trailer was, was perfect. Great. Yeah, the second one a little, little just too a little much. much. We talked about that. Why it was a little too much, even like especially with the re recent release of the Justice League trailer, which was nearly as long and and out. not nearly as spoiler friendly. I feel like the main plot was there. They did a very good job in doing those contextual uh, story things, and not telling you directly what we're taking away. This exactly. Year. Rock, rock, Deadpool rock. two Christian. Yeah, I mean that was an amazing teaser. I loved it. Was Stan that was Lee in it? Super great. Awesome. Yeah, the Stanley edition was great. Right. Although the, the whole thing is like, it's okay. Rest, rest. <laughs> you need your sleep. Uh, but no, it, it really is just kind of an amazing era into which we're coming in where all of these comic book movies are go doing well and all of them like I said I would love nothing better for than Justice League to be the greatest what's up comic Jordan book welcome back up. welcome back Jordan uh, I would love nothing more for than that you know what I mean for Justice League to be the best oh, comic I really book movie to come back and then after is, that for man. Infinity Wars to be the next exactly I, that's the thing <laughs> just keep upping your game just keep upping them everybody the Marvel, DC and, and that's not to say on. you have to one up to up your game like upping your game is sometimes adding more characters like the addition of Doctor Strange was no better than Iron Man, in my opinion. Like, it's a great and, you movie. Know, here's my thing about it. You, you hear a lot of people who are like, oh, it's just another Iron Man movie. I don't agree. He is not... Stephen Strange and Tony Stark are not... They're similar in some qualities, but because they're both rich and they both... The, they were very similar. Tech I think it was more the tone though. of the movie and the way it went. Like, Don't get me wrong. They're very unique characters and nowhere... It's not another Iron Man movie. No. In in a sense, it's another origin, origin movie. Origin story. Absolutely. Yes, which it is absolutely is and absolutely supposed to be. And does it follow along very similar lines to the Iron Man story? Because it is very similar to the Iron Man story, which is very similar to how many other stories? Yes. yes. It, <laughs> it yes, has a it formula. Does. Yeah, I'm sorry. Every, the, every story you've ever heard has been ripped off of another story, including Batman, including, you know, Batman is great, but uh, they talk about there's a French comic that he's based off of. Exactly. A French detective. I mean, uh, you'll check it out eventually. What is the it predates him by by like forty years? The term is good artist. Drops. Good artist copies, copy. Great artist steal. I mean, it happens. You know what I mean? Here's the thing. It's the 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 thing is to make a re an interesting something new with it. That's mm -hmm. the difference. Is to not 
like you said, not copy paste, but to take it and then do something, do something different, th- new and fresh and innovative that separates it from all the rest. Exactly, exactly. Hey, Susie. Hey, Susie. Welcome back. Welcome I back. I cannot believe Susie didn't win yet. Uh, we were sorry. talking we're about so this. We're so sorry, Susie. Prize. You deserve to win. You deserve Susie. to win. No offense to Sai either, but Susie's been here probably more than anybody else has. And we She's probably really our most loyal viewer so me. far. Thank we you appreciate so much. all of you too. Jordan, all of you, Jazzy. Jazzy. We've Jazzy. seen you the last four weeks. No. Thank you, by the way. And we talked about it uh, earlier in the cast. If you didn't see, you did win your prize. We will be sending it in the mail soon. Uh, hopefully, it won't take too long. Movies, movies, man. I mean, I'm, I'm. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy, I'm thinking that might be the summer movie. Right? I'm thinking, here's the thing, I want, ju- I love Guardians, home, but buddy. I want Justice I'm, League to be the one. You want it to be the one? I My, do, and I love, you know me, I'm a Marvel fanboy, but, but I want Justice League. We need DC to make a comeback. They, yes, they they need to make that strong presence in the cinematic unit. People, and here's the thing, people are always like, Superman versus Batman did so... Look, you can sell a ton of tickets. That doesn't make that great doesn't reviews. That doesn't make it a great And movie. not even it from the critics. for a raspberry. Not, right, which is not even from the critics. That's from that's from us guys. Like, <laughs> If it's from us, the fans, it's that's fans. Where, like I said, don't listen to the critics a lot of time. You can you know, maybe use it to find out what to check. But even then, like, the critics are often quick to judge. Mm-hmm. They're very j- critical, quick to judge. And trust me, I know because we're critics. Like, As a critic... We have to sit there and immediately look for what's wrong. You have wrong. to analyze. And, yeah, exactly. That's that's it. you got to start with what's wrong and then build on what's better than what's wrong. You know what I mean? Good to see you, Tony. Well, good good to you. see you back again. Agents. Christian. Se- seeing the Justin Lake trailer, it was. Jordan. Wasn't it great? You guys should One Thursday still... for... Oh, we we could definitely do definitely. this. Definitely. Just go Please ahead and let message us, know. us. Yeah, we need you to go ahead and message... Me. Yeah. Either, you can message me She as said well. maybe the one ever. Yeah, you can either message him or me. Either way, the comic page. The page. We definitely like to... Uh, a lot of it does have to do with the ability to stream. Yeah, uh, so if your internet is good, then we can. If not, I can also... We can phone. figure it out. We can we, figure you know, it we, out. We figure it out. The problem, the problem of live streaming is you have to maintain a good internet connection and that's not always as easy as we wish it was no not always i mean even in in circumstances mine has gone out but good thing i restarted the internet so mm-hmm. we're good to go. i mean even stuff like with our stream and mine which is a hardwired computer stream it's not Batman always versus been... superman was horrible man i mean i i, it, I maybe it, wouldn't here's say the thing it, was it wasn't horrible, just here's wasn't. the thing it's the same thing about iron man it wasn't as bad as the critics made it out to be but it was like a six out of ten. Maybe. Exactly, it was like five and a half, six, man, and, that, and that's not about good that. enough. It wasn't, that's not good enough. For it wasn't fucking... strong enough for DC. They, not even just I that. Know they can not do even just DC. Like yes, they, and we know DC can do better with their animated movies and series they've done. And the Dark Knight series. I mean, bam. Yeah, that's the Dark Knight though. I don't know if that was DC. It would have been really hard to mess that up. That's true, but I mean, my thing, my whole thing about it is so they can do better. And, they can, and, and the, they should and be. Not only that, if they need to for those characters. Those characters are the too core, big to the do core well. six. Not a, yeah, they're here. I'm sorry, and as like I said, as much as I love Marvel, like I said, I'm a super Marvel fanboy. Love Absolutely. Marvel more I than mean, DC you know? all day. <laughs> Batman and Superman are what it means to be a hero originally. Exactly. They are the original the concepts. the original heroes. With the, with the next newest concept coming with probably Captain America after them was the mm-hmm. next newest, or maybe, uh, I think it was the android, the living, uh, the living torch, or the, the human torch. The human torch, the original yep, the, human torch. original human torch. Those are some of the original ideas, like, Pri- like, don't get me wrong, some of the characters... I do not film- like Affleck Batman. So terrible. I haven't seen enough of Affleck Batman to that, even to judge, say that. To judge. I, I gotta see but maybe I will one say, more... I will say the same thing about... Here's the other thing about, like, I don't like Christian... And it's not I don't like it. Christian Bale is not my favorite Batman. He's my favorite Bruce and Wayne, the production, maybe. the production in this new movie, how it's going so far, is pretty poor. Like, it's, it's just kind of slopping around. It's... It's iffy, you know what I mean? Ben Affleck was supposed together. to be a writer. Or he was supposed to be a producer. Cool. He got messed up. Oh, movie Week was, was great. Thank you, Susie. Um, yeah, and so we can agree on that movie. That, But that's the thing. Now, we're hoping they've learned it. It looks like they have. It looks like they're adding oh, levity. So. They, the, the great, they're pulling off of the Marvel movies. This is fine. The thing is, people are always saying DC, Marvel copies DC, which is true. The thing is, Marvel copies DC, and then... DC. Makes changes to make sure that it's streamlined for what they need. Exactly. For. DC and should take some notes, man. They, that's the thing. It's the uh, learn from your competition is what I'm saying. Marvel's done it, and they need to do it more. Still, don't get yeah, me wrong. They're, they're animated plenty of times. They're, they're animated uh, movies specifically. Series are okay, 
but the movies DC ser- anime though. But ori- <laughs> you gotta admit though, Marvel originally had the animated series. They did because that X Men, Spider Man, X Men. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? Those are original. Like, granted, Superman had a comic, but or a cartoon. It's not that great. But it's it from the fifties. Yeah, I'm and sorry. it wasn't it's not that it great. It wasn't that man. X Men is what started that. X Men cartoon is what started all this. Crap. It did, and then came Batman. Mm-hmm. Batman was probably the next one. Obviously, Spider Man. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But Batman was the next step in that evolution. Yep. Uh, coming after that, there was a long Justice time. Justice League. Justice League was Which more came of a continu- way longer. Even more than that, it was a continuation of Batman, in my opinion. There was the same Would concept. You say that? It was good. It was good. Would you say it's like a continuation of the Batman animated series? Though? Not as saying? like the actual series wise, but at least the feeling. The feeling. The feeling yes, was the, the exact same. Yep. Whereas. Then we get to what I would call the next generation or the most current generation, which is like Young Justice, which is probably which one is of the better ones, clean. which is another evolution of the, of the animated. animated series, where we've gone from, okay, we've gone from the comic book rip, basically, which was basically, yeah, and then we had Batman, which was a comic book rip with a long-standing tradition of its own. Mm-hmm. Because that's where we're introduced to Harley Quinn. I like Affleck. Cavill is boring. The- Thank you. Thank you, Cy. I think Cavill is so boring. He is the most the... brick wall Superman I've ever seen. I I do think that, but I think that's the writing. They, they never the have him say anything and... or do anything. Like his then that's they, my problem. They show a thing of his facial expressions. He has tons of facial expressions because he never talks. That's the thing. Emotion is, unfortunately, not all through body movement and stoic heroics. You have to talk. Right, you like they talk about. There's a whole thing in a Family Guy thing where they're making fun of uh, uh, Jet Li, where it's like, you took my wife, and now you must give her back after you. Be- you know, you're just do- doing everything. You just yes, but the audience needs me to talk to give context to the situation. Exactly, man. You got to put that context. In Emotional there. context, that personal easily context. Been a Batman movie. God, it really like it, it could have just been Batman. Blank, uh, call, call it meets, meets, meets Superman, Superman or whatever. Or like I said, it could have been Batman's uh, the son of Crypt. You know, not like or that, something that like would have been misleading. But like, uh, oh, thanks meets, for the Lion King compliment. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a nice one. Thank you. Like yeah, mine's is too blank to see because the shirt is one of the first shirts I ever yeah, bought what, at a convention. What's on there? It says, uh, "Sure, time travel is real. It's just that my uh, I'm stuck in first gear and my reverse is broken." Nice. So, I don't know. That might be a Doctor reference. Actually. I think it was. I actually, it a Doctor Who. If not, it's... Oh, sorry. A very oh, close one, and I think it's very good. Um, yeah. There's so much going... I think it might be... Do you think it's about that time to move into TV shows? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we may as, I mean, I guess in, in terms of movies, we got Ghost in the Shell coming. That's true. Which... Up I'm just going to go see it. I'm not going to make too... I saw the little teaser for it, so I, I'm not going to make too many The thing is, judgments. I really like that I saw recently... Is with the exception of the main character casting not being Asian, which people can be mad at. Although I will make the point here that that character is a machine, not technically Asian. Um, Good point. Just saying. The my bigger thing was I saw a side by side. Did you see that? Yeah, the, the side by side. It's were, so close, so clear, so good. I so mean, t- it was. If they did the rest of the movie like that, I would be happy. That scene, and, and that's the scene that it was in the extended trailer. Right. Done excellently. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. just like the original. Listen, you can't see the writing. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. It's, it just looks like it's It's, it's, lo- it's faded it's out. Like oh. I said, it's old and faded out, guys. <laughs> this is this is like a 15-year-old shit shirt from a con. <laughs> and just a quick little touch. Uh, did you guys hear about the, the Batman, or excuse me, the Batgirl director, oh. Joss Whedon, today? Remember, he's the Avengers director, so, so could this could... turn the tables for DC? I just don't like that. Well, I mean, like, it's like... Let's well, see, here's technicalities, thing. Axel, just technicalities. Hey, look, technicalities count. Technicalities count, Michael. You shut your dirty mouth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like the idea of the Batgirl movie yet. Eventually. Yeah, I agree with you. Like I said, we need Nightwing still. We need Affleck to get his Batman in a good spot to Wait, even launch not those to, characters. Not to even say Flash, Cyborg, Right, where are all these... They're moving too much to Batman again. They're focusing on the Batman mythos to carry them. Same with Superman. Okay, you made two Supermans and how many Batman movies the in the last three. 20 it's years? And 50 years? It's with like, Wonder Woman a, recently being the thrown The only in. new one, yeah. The, and granted, we're getting Cyborg and Flash in this one, but... I watched Assassin's Creed on the weekend. I was so disappointed. I, yeah. I heard that not great things, but I didn't hear anything that was super devastating to Six it. Six and a half. I mean, it just... 
the best scenes, Susie, were in the Animus. I, I think you'd agree the best scenes were literally in the Animus, and they weren't in the Animus that long. So it's just like... Which sucks, because that's basically all the game's about. Is yeah. The animus. There's, there's the animus. very, like, yes, does he have a story, but really it's about his past. It's about his past and the Animus. And they rebooted it to, like, be kind of just this really weird... I still have to retelling. go see that. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. Because I have a lot of stuff to catch up on, guys. I have been catching up on comics. Yep, so yeah, see, you that. agree. It's just... The best scenes in that entire movie were in the Animus, and then the rest of it was like, oh, everybody's in this, like, psych ward. and It's just... It's really weird, dude. Yeah. It just is not at, like the original game at all. No, And I no. know that's what they had, you know, painted up at first. They're like, this isn't the original story. It's the same universe... In a different story, which is interesting, because you, you generally don't have that. But I mean, we all kind of hope for an Ezio, or you know, one, we we hope for Ezio at least. And that, and we didn't get that. We we got this new guy. I can't even remember his name. Played by Michael Fassbender, and he was just yeah, filler. I mean, maybe not even filler, but it was just it was odd. It was just a a, a universe reboot. I want to say it was like oh, all okay. the mythos. But added new characters. And I was like, uh... Why? Okay, and here's the thing that movie creators are going to have to get through their thick heads. <laughs> I'm sorry, here's the thing they're going to have to get through their thick heads is we want something that is basically as close to the original product as you can get. And I mean, literally, if you could, like I said, with the ghost in the shelling, if you could go scene for scene, we'd fucking watch it again. Exactly. We, we would watch it. it again. Like I said, we would literally, like I said, that, that and that was the whole point of the X-Men animated series. It's shot for literally, shot. basically, yeah, shot for shot recreation of the comic books. Literally, like you can you can read the comic and it has those scenes. Even the, the art comic. is like in the style of the yeah, original the comics. Comic. Yep. Uh, we got a comment from Psy. Probably like DC more. Yeah, you know, I like Marvel just a little bit more. Like That's I said, I've, I've said it before. I'm a personal. Hey, Homero, what's up, man? Shout out from, from the, the Philippines. Philippines. Nice. Welcome in. Welcome. Uh, I. It's like I said, I. I, and I understand, and I, like I said, I say the same thing when I was talking about the Batman-Superman thing. I love DZ more, but that's no shot to say that Superman and Batman were the original hero concepts. They were. They were the ri the two that you originally thought were just like, when you think of hero. Even as a child, I Superman. can think of, like, maybe Spider-Man first because of my household being Yeah, Marvel, same. But besides Spider-Man, Superman. Superman. Super then Batman, Batman because of Superman. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to it there. And in the movies. The movies really led you there. Which... And you can, now is why kids are more relating with Iron Man and the Hulk and exactly everyone. Exactly because, because of those movies. Right, and because their generation movies are these, like, Avengers, I hate to say, like I said, as Iron much Man. as you love the, the Dark Knight series, Avengers still beat every movie. It does. It beats every superhero movie still. It is. It's, it's top one of the ranked. Top, uh, it's not, not the original one, but the Civil, no, no, it's not Civil, Age of Ultron is still, like, ranked number one on charts just on money. And if you want to go to the very root of it, that's what those companies are about, and that's what it's will like, continue making them make more products. So that's what we have to focus number on. Number one in terms of highest grossing is Avatar. Um, number two is Star Wars Episode Seven, And then number three is a, an Avengers movie, I think. So it's like... Thanks it's just, for watching, everybody. By the way, we have ten live viewers, and we want to thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Wow, I didn't even notice the double number. We are so I into know, the so conversation. we got a couple comments here we're going to go ahead and address. Yeah, I'll address one. Uh, Susie says that she's one of the oddballs that's pretty even between DC and Marvel, and uh, that's fine. Uh, for very for the most long part, time, man. most people... Like I said, I just know I have a slight Marvel bias against certain characters like Logan and Spider-Man, so that's where I know... Yep. <laughs> like, as much as I love Superman and Batman, like, those are my probably two of my favorite characters, period. And it's just me. Like I said, my top list of, of heroes is... Wolverine, Logan, James Howlett. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh man, Logan! Oh man, Logan! <laughs> oh, you should have seen. I did a Worms game where you get like eight people. I named them all after Wolverine. It's all Wolverine. Might team. as well. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, we have Sai, who said I was I was Marvel, but as I've mentioned, the CW shows have changed me. Thanks for the last. I will guys. say that they were great shows. I will say the other thing is, like I said, I'm not the Arrow guy, so I can't relate on that. I will say Flash. Flash was awesome. Supergirl even pretty decent, not great. I have to watch episode season two, which you've told us about. It's just that's it's amazing. 12, 22 really episodes good. or something that I have to go catch up on. But I feel like, so they made these shows, right? Batman. And then they made Legends of Tomorrow. And things just went wrong after that. Cough Marvel. <laughs> it did. Yes, Cough Legends Marvel. Of, Legends, Legends of, of Tomorrow, Tomorrow was a very sync point, And then the Flash started going down in the same way. Uh, I've heard People Arrow is just on that. Arrow's kind of on the edge. I've heard that Arrow is once again... On the upturn. I've heard the last couple from Sai and, and Susie character. and Sai have told us. 
It's the Felicity fans. And, yeah, Antonio's right, though. Legends, I heard, was like four episodes and then garbage. Garbage. I mean, dude, I made it to like episode one. And this like is from a guy who this is from a guy who will watch basically anything. I t- me and Leo talk about it. I'm on chapter a thousand one hundred and twelve of a manga I've been reading since. Heck yeah, man! I mean, I've read all the ago. amazing Spider-Man issues, and now I'm reading all the Spider-Verse. Exactly, stuff? yeah, and, and that's the whole point. Like, we will watch Keep and on. read anything. But we were going to tell you what we think of it on this Uh-oh, week. what's up with this week's episode of The Flash? You I see haven't not seen it. Up? I'm not caught up. I heard it went crazy again with uh, the whole Savitar slash J thing. There was a whole oh, pass really? I heard some stuff, but I'm not caught up, so I don't know. Uh, thank you for... Man, we were getting so many yeah, people. Yeah, we're thank spiking you. up tonight, guys. Uh, please, 13. like you said, comment in the thing if you're here. Let us know you're here. Let us know yeah, your you favorite guys. comment. We, we love talking. You're honestly missing out with Arrow. And Legends Late Year, but you're right, the teen girl screaming for relationships ruin it. Yes, that's what I heard about Arrow that pushes me away a little bit. And why, Felicity. And why originally, yeah, I heard there's too much focus away from Arrow. Here's my other thing is, uh, evolution of a show. He's on episode, uh, season five or six now, right? Arrow? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's up there in, like, episode or season we five. We talk about it. Most, most mainstream shows about Amalgamous characters aren't going to make it too much longer than that. Like, he's got, they got to pick up Changing point and a finishing point. Exactly. And yeah, I, I agree with the uh, Savage comment. Um, yeah, even more than that, why would you... Inter- appear. Here's the thing. Savage is like basically a hot girl slash Superman enemy. So, I mean, yes, he is a Flash enemy and those other people, but like, why... Like, there's, there's they have so many enemies to pick from, why would you not? And you know, I literally watched... I was reading about one of the recent Detective comics. Uh, it's just <laughs> listing all of the dumb villains Batman fights every night. Like, 20 of them. <laughs> it's just the stupidest of the The dumbest the villains. Yeah, like, I can't even tell you their names is how dumb they are. Like, the Mad... Like, worse than the Mad Hatter and... And... And Calendar Man and... Sh- oh, Calendar Man? Oh, my God. Worse dude. than them. Worse, worse than them. Worse than them. Whew. I'm not even kidding. Calendar Man's a threat in comparison to these See, I'm kid- not even kidding you. What's um, up, Noah? Good to see you, man. That was also awesome, great, man. That's actually a great series. I will talk about that during the comic section, how crazy. Heck, comics and, awesome, and DC's back wait. up on the uprising, and they were a little bit tilting on their recent rebirth stuff. But some of the rebirth stuff is like... Yeah, it's right back now. up again. Like, it's like crazy. There was some interesting stuff. Because Hal Jordan and Green Lantern Corps, that's always been good to that's me. That's 100%. That, that. But I, in my opinion, that's my favorite... Uh, rebirth? Rebirth period, yeah. Yeah, I would say they're doing that one. I think very, we, very I think good. we talked about it, but I think the reason being that it's just such a more powerful storyline than most other people's. The uh, if for those who don't know, the current Green Lantern storyline is basically a building up from having the whole Green Lantern core destroyed, destroyed yeah, by the Sinestro core. Yeah, and the Sinestro store basically taking over uh, the Guardian the Guardian of, of the universe. universe. Yeah, it's which crazy. is it's super crazy. Man, man Bat, Bat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Man Bat was is still even better in comparison. <laughs> Um, and he, like, pops up in Gotham for some random reason in an episode. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell gets up with this man bat? But, yeah, we'll squeeze up into TV here. I mean, if you guys wanted to talk any more movies, we'll, we'll talk to you guys for the likes. But I How guess about Gotham? Ooh, oh, Gotham. Not caught up still. Gotham is really good. Yeah, I'm about three or four episodes behind. But, oh, my goodness, after the second half of that season, things just went up. I mean, like, things just were like, what? Like, they did pop up. I don't want to spoil about what happens, but... I mean, this is all over the internet. I haven't wanted. even watched, and I've already heard all the stuff about Jerome, and... Mm, but it's, it, like they, I said, I haven't even watched, and it's like, yeah, there's stuff yeah, out there. Gotham, they fun. left us hanging, which they always do. Gotham, I'm almost just a little, becoming a little impatient with Bruce Wayne's pacing in Gotham. Because, like... Depicted in the comics and in other renditions and animated, whatever. He starts as a child. Like, this Batman shit happens right after his parents are dead. Basically, like, maybe less than a year, even, I'd say. Exactly. He starts like going eight, to train. Months. Yeah, he starts, starts going to train like, everything. It's like, it's the development and that's without, of him is, like, a little weird. It, it's it's a little slow, but I think it's because the show's not about him. It's not. It's, it's really about not. Gordon. Even, even more than Gordon, like, they... Pulled the focus off Gordon after season two. Yeah, I feel like. it's on the villains now, really. Yeah, really, it's about the development of Gotham as a whole, as like an organism, mm-hmm. I feel like, before Bruce Wayne comes in. Exactly. Which is why the whole City of Owls and things... They like, almost personify Gotham in itself, and that it's right. getting worse and worse. Yes, and that they're evolving. Like I said, the whole Mad-Eye Mooney and Penguin thing... And I love Mooney, by the way. Fish Mooney is a great I do. Original. I wish Penguin was played a little... I love the character who plays him, but I think that the way they're writing him currently... 
He could just be a little more, like, hammer down. Because, I mean, Penguin He was is very ruthless. Very ruthless. And like, high class. And, yeah. And, and, and I very, love how they know, change it up so say, often. See. It keeps me interested. But they need to establish more bat in the... That exactly. is true. That's the thing. We need to honestly see less Bruce so that when he comes back, we can see, we can see Bruce him as, like, developed. in training. Yeah, it's yeah. like, where have you been, Master Bruce? I've been training in the Tibetan Alps for six months. Right? And like, now I know yes. fucking Kung Fu a little bit. That's exactly you know what, what I mean. Where's that? Where's that? But it almost begs the question, is Bruce doing some training on the back end that we're not aware of? Well, we already is, know that it's stuff he's been doing with Selena, He's been sto- cetera, studying and, and doing a little bit of parkour with Selena. But the thing is, Selena, where would he be like, doing it? You know what I mean? We see him too much for it to be, like, a question. Like, we see him... Yeah, we see him in almost every episode. Exactly. Which, uh, in, at least for the pacing, every episode seems... Like, there was the time where they even said, well, I'm glad we got you out of the city for a while, Master Bruce. Gotham is one I haven't watched. Sounds more dramatic than a superhero show. It is It is uh, uh, more dramatic, I'd say. I think it's just darker than it's most a little of darker, the ones. Yeah. Here's the thing. The DC shows, and I will say that, are very superhero-y, kid-like. Kind of juvenile Juvenile-ish, uh, with Arrow being the darkest. Yeah. By far. Uh, and Flash this show makes very, and this like, Sperry saves the day. Yeah, like, they died, and I brought them back by the Speed Force. And then time, she'll love me if I change, change the timeline time until she loves me. Oh god! <laughs> but I will say, Gotham's Damn, way darker than any of those, and still not as dark as some of the some of the Marvel series, just because they can't be. They're on mainstream television. Yeah, exactly. You can't like, dude. The scene from Iron Fist with the dude after he loses the fight to him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's crazy. Like, you'll never see, see that in the DC. Here. Bruce goes on sabbatical, comes back ruthless back. Exactly. exactly. Six years sabbatical, bring us Gotham, back very mature. Yeah. Very, very mature. Very mature. And I will say that, yes, in a way, but it is still a hero show. It it's is. It's not a superhero show. But the, the craziest things is, like, so they kind of position Jim Gordon as his hero, but they question his allegiance so much in oh, the Oh, they push series. him as a hero They a lot. push him so much to the point where... You know, he ends up actually, and if I won't spoil too much, but he ends up actually killing some people. Oh. And it's like, holy crap, like, that's a lot to, you know, do as the hero of the series. If right, you know. especially in a Batman centric episode. I'm pretty sure I didn't spell it like that. That's fine. What's up, Catherine? Good to see you. It, it's fine if you didn't, you know, that's a de- decently difficult word to spell. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Thank you, Jazz, for coming in and for the like. Uh, for the most part, though, like I said, they can't be as dark. As these Netflix shows. No, nah, man. Or even as FX. I mean, Daredevil season one. Car door slam on the head. Like. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. He kills him with that. That yep. was pretty he slammed intense. slammed his head in the door. I'm like, there you go. This is just already ramped up. And even just the like Punisher. season two Punisher, just like they could never, ever do anything like that on television. There's By the no way, do you think he's way. the best Punisher? So far? Yeah. Mm, we'll have to see a little more. But. And here's the thing. So far, he's he's doing very well. good. He's doing very well, but he's doesn't hasn't had his solo act yet. So he's relied heavily on interaction with Daredevil. Daredevil, yep. Secondly, a lot of people underestimate the the original, not the original original, but the the first Punisher movie that they did in oh, two thousand. Yeah, that is almost a scene, not a hundred percent, but a scene for scene recreation of Punisher Max. Why it didn't oh, go off is about mostly because I think the environment of Marvel movies at the time with the Hulk, etc., etc., wasn't in the area yet of launching this m- big MCU. Thing. The other thing being, the Punisher is not a movie hero, in my opinion. He's a show hero. I would very love to see like him more on a show level. Than, because you get to watch... It's very much like Blade. I love Blade as a movie character, and he worked there because he went high... But I want to. I love the series too because it showed Blade on his day to day level instead the of on the development level. Right. It's like what I want to see this character because they're more like me. They're less superhero and, and they're more that's relatable. The, that's the thing about the whole Defenders universe. They're street heroes. Exactly. They're this people is not... like you and me that may have gotten some extra training and experiment. Uh, may have been even born that but, way. And even but then, like they do not hear... live yeah, lives here... like us. Right. And more to the point, they're just not handling the level of. Stuff that the Avengers have. You know, no one flies, really. No one, you know... Ultron's not flying from the no, sky. No, we're not going to be York. beating up giant monsters, you know. No, at the best, we're probably going to beat up a couple crime syndicates. Maybe one medium giant monster. Exactly. You know, if we're lucky... Let's see, we got some comments here. Uh, 
Yeah. Penguin became soft when they brought in the fact of him falling in love. Definitely. Uh, uh, yeah. Have yeah, you seen absolutely. the new Flash show? Looks a lot better. Have not seen the new Flash. You'd have to check it out. I thought the other one was pretty good, but if they've improved, then obviously that's awesome. I heard it's been improved. Here's, here's my thing. What do you think of the movie Flash suit? Ooh, I actually really like it. That, like, metallic suit Flash. The Mr. only the only thing, though, is that... It's too metallic. Right? Yeah, it it's is. It's robotic. almost like... It's almost like... He looks like a Power Ranger. Now. And I think that yeah, <laughs> I, I think like the, the reason Power yeah, now. and I think the reason they did that is because it's going off of the kind of Iron Man Spidey thing with the Flash to Batman or Batman to Flash. Batman it's to like Flash, absolutely. It's the mentee kind of yeah, like right? Mentor mentee relationship. And I see that, two. and I, I think that's why it's that way. I'm not sure it is the greatest. Like I love the way they did the Flash's suit in the series because it's very picturesque of the original it's Flash. The original, yeah. And I'm just his, like that. His that's ring very comes, original. Holds his suit. The movie Flash suit is too flashy. Haha. Yeah. A little yeah, just bit. a Good little pun, bit. by the way. And what do you guys think about the lightning? I like the lightning. I love the lightning. That was effect. one. That was love one thing that. about and that. And you know what would be even cool if that's like part of the speed force on him? I would, would love which that. Which is what it, realistically what it should be. That's how it works in exactly. the comics. Exactly. Speed force. If that's just like speed force lightning shooting on him. That'd be awesome. Right. I, think I that's really a great like addition. that. That was, like, we've talked about it, just, like, looks great, and I'm very excited for it. It looks exciting. And you know what? I, I really like how it looks like. I'm not sure. It looks like Cyborg and Flash are around the same age, which is good, because we need that we need that relationship between look, those two. Right, and not only that, the age group is going to help, too, because all the other people are supposed to be older and yeah, a little more mature. More experienced and mature. Right, and, and so having that to balance will be great. Uh, what I will say is, like I said, shows not the same. Iron Fist, man did a really good job about power portrayal. It really did. Because even though the fight scenes were cheesy, cheesy, uh, we talked about this, it's like it looked choreographed. Wouldn't an expert martial artist fighting look choreographed? First time I've admitted that. Wait, what did Sai say? Oh, let's see. What did you say, Sai? Um... The pun was real. I want to like the movie Flash, but I think I'm jealous that he'll be better than the T Flash. Uh, <laughs> yeah. TV Flash. Yeah. Let's see. Who knows? We'll Sorry. have to see. I mean, he's a younger Barry, which is weird. Um, very weird. I thought. I don't think that was that weird. In the thing, he's like 19 or 20. Like the original, the original comics, he's 19 or 20. Really? I really thought he but was. But he looks about 15 or 16. I, I guess he is 19 or 20. He's just a young looking dude. I don't know. He how, always was on the younger edge. I think he's also just a very youthful character. Like he's yeah, always portrayed right, as being right. young and carefree, but I think Barry Allen was never really super old. Like maybe twenty five. He, he was a little bit closer. In age I don't think he's like. I don't think he's like there here. Like they have him like sixteen, seventeen. No, I think he was definitely like nineteen, twenty. Yeah, that's because what I the thought. whole like the whole, 20, well here the, the reason being his whole premise for his character was the lab assistant basically, mm -hmm. which you have to go to college for. Yep. Sorry guys, got to go to college to go to the lab. Pretty much, <laughs> unless you're one of the experiments. Um, yeah, and. And that's but the it, it looks good to me, and, oh, and yeah, I th yeah. and I, I like that they're kind of piggybacking off of the Iron Man Spider Man. Oh thing. yeah, you need the mentor mentee relationship between the newer characters and the more. Well, and even just to get them in, the very like the, the differences between the Avengers and this Justice League are very there. You know, what I mean, they're Absolutely. you can see them, and they need to be addressed. But there's still similarities in every team that have to be. And like I said, usually the Flash takes up that kid spot. Mm -hmm. Cyborg, to a le lesser extent, I think we feel that way about Cyborg because of Teen Titans. Yeah, I was going to say, him being in Teen Titans really put really him in Really changed that him into a, yeah, changed for that kind of character. And, and the was, suit isn't that great, as you said, Power Ranger. Yeah, like I said, the suit, I was Power not the super excited. Same with Cyborg's design. I thought it was cool, but I thought it was too... Complex. complex, yeah. It's Too like, much. It could have been more cyborg. Like I said, we want to see in a casing, a blue casing, in a in a oh, sheet man. Or of even metal. the new animated cyborg they have rolling oh, in the movies. So nice, yeah. So clean. But this one's just like a little too much. I'm like, eh, I didn't need to. He could have, like you said, played it up. Just, just played it up. Yeah. There's no need to do all that. I'm you know? excited to see some like what kind of what happens with him and what goes down with him. I just, what do you think about Justice League starting with the meetup? And then going off into these origins. Well, they're not, though. They're not, because we have Batfleck, and we have Superman and Wonder Woman coming in from their own movies. But we don't have the other three. No, which... Which... 
Think about it, Hawkeye and Widow you know, never got their own movie. But they're more significant than Hawkeye uh, and Widow. I mean, they are. To, to just, I mean, we, we think of that that way, but realistically, like, Hawkeye's been on the Avengers longer than There's the major, you're right. There's, there's the major, and then there's the kind of, you know, the... Right, the, and the who runner, needs the a movie, runs. right. And yeah. So what? that's my whole thing. What point, the Flash movie maybe, but what point would the Cyborg movie serve for us, really? It's coming out. I mean, I mean they're going to get it, but why would it be... But like I said, why would that be the first movie? The same thing is like, why is Hulk not getting a movie? <sighs> he doesn't... It, it doesn't need one. I, I wish there was one. They was, and the, they're doing a good With job... With Mark of Ruffalo's, pleasing. by the way. And, and they're doing a good job of actually including him in the movies and stuff, and some of the references, like he's in Luke Cage, ah, the Green Man reference. Um... But I do want a Mark Ruffalo Hulk movie because he's actually the best Hulk. To me, let's be honest here. The Incredible the Hulk was okay. Here's the thing: the we've, we've talked about this decent. in that he was he's the, the best, best combination of both. Bruce. Exactly. Because in and my Hulk. opinion, Edward Norton Edward Norton was was he the first one or the second one in in Mexico? The, the second Hulk. one in Mexico. Mexico. Edward Norton was, in my opinion, the best Bruce Banner by far. Mm, he yeah, played Bruce right. Banner very well. Very he didn't want to. He was very. Lax and the but an angry Jim on Hulk. the underside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And Whereas, in, in my opinion, the original Hulk portrayal, not the anime graphics, but the portrayal of the Hulk in the original movie. I think there have been too many remakes of the Hulk. I think if they do another run, I think they should do. It won't continue on mine. Uh, sorry, I'll get it real quick. Uh, I think they do another run. I think they should do the Hulk. You're talking about Leo. Good choice. Agreed. I think that's the only way they can go now. The yeah, other ones they can't go pan out. Another one. What can. I will say is, like I said, the original depiction of the Hulk. In the Incredible Hulk, uh, or the Hulk, whichever the first one was, not the Edward Norton was. You're right. Was, was more stellar. Stellar. Actually. Not necessarily the CGI, 100, percent but the depictions of his strength, the jumping, the jumping. Something they still so haven't gotten huge. right in this movie. It's so hard to though. He jumps continents. He, he can jump, jump yeah, from exactly. continent to he continent. He jumps so high. He's so powerful that he can jump, like you said, from continent. He basically to continent. flies and decides eventually to planet to planet. I mean, it's the Hulk. It's the Hulk we're talking about. He gets strong as shit. That was the best depiction. So that was the best Hulk. I mean, he's walking around toying with tanks. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And that's what you see the Hulk do. Exactly. And and they did a good job in showing it in Avengers, but they were limited. They were. They they showed it one time with the punch of the giant monster, and then after that, you never see him see do, anything, him do in. anything. Mostly because he's in a big city and can't destroy everything, mm -hmm. or else he'll be. Although they, being in a field was like perfect for him. Mm -hmm. What's up, Steve? Guys, Good imagine to see you. the Hulk versus Superman. We've done. We, we've this. seen that, and we've. Debated and if it. you want to go, think, think you there's two places you can go. You can go to the fan voted Marvel vs. DC comic, which is an idiotic comic. Not only does it, not only is it fan voted, which. Popularity contest, yes, yeah, always. Soups way. would win any popularity contest, pretty much. Yeah, but being the exception, also that that was one of the weakest versions of the Hulk. It's a version of the Hulk Period. where Bruce Banner is the Hulk, and where so he's, he's in, in control, control he mentally talk, and everything. He can physically like, talk as Banner and tell him, "I'm a scientist, and I don't want to fight you." And so, that takes away the anger, the where the rising in power, the Incredible Hulk back Lou in the Frigo. day. I have seen it. It's actually pretty decent for the time. The show, yeah. Yeah, I heard it was actually good. And, back and, in the day. and they talk about it for for at that time, Lou Ferrigno was probably the only man who could have physically portrayed the Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. yeah, and he did a great job from what I've heard. Like I've heard great things about. I mean, it's why he's so it popular. Good, honestly, yeah. um, here's the thing: if you want to see a more balanced fight between Superman, like a more current, and this is the most current fight that you can find in actual depictions, is Superman versus the Hulk, uh, dual identities. I think or uh, two sides of a personality. Is that where they? Did the animation-ish thing? No, 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 no. no. This okay. is a comic book. Oh, okay. This is gotcha. an actual crossover comic book between the Hulk and Superman. Continuity, though. Movie Hulk will never be that strong, unfortunately. No, he's no. too, it's too strong. Mean, unless they, unless world... in Thor Ragnarok, they bring in Planet Hulk, which they have him on scars, so we'll see, but... Okay, and did you hear, actually, random tip, like, random tidbit, the MCU's change, it's starting to change things quite a bit, because... I heard. I'm not sure if it's super confirmed that ego actually is Star Wars that Star Lord that right, which is a huge. Well, thing. they've changed before. There's tons of changes in the. There is, the but like, come on, man. Jason. That is one of the bigger ones. That is a huge character change huge. between because in if you if you right in in the comics. Uh, Star Lord's dad is the king of Spartans. King of Spartans, which is another race. They're humanoids. They're, They're very human-like. They are, and, but um, I mean. 
and eventually becomes kings of, king of the Spartans. He does, which himself. Rocket is Although, now the leader. Yeah, right, yeah, there's a Rocket's thing. the leader of Guardians of the Galaxy now, and Kitty Pride is Star Lord. It got kind of weird. Yeah, it's there's a whole thing you'll have to look, watch and see. Um, but yeah, as we talk yeah, about, yeah, Susie, yeah. Kitty Pride is a. Uh, is Star Lord now? Gar- uh, Rocket is the leader of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, what's up, Terrence? Good to see you. Yeah, thank you for coming in. There's uh, there's tons of stuff going on uh, in the, the new comics. Things in it now. Um, or the, yeah, thing, the thing is, yeah, is uh, Venom was in for Vera, a long time. He's gone now. But he's though. gone. Yeah, yeah he had to go he through his to, own Guardians of the Galaxy. To, um, Clint Hart. Didn't he remove the symbiote? It's now? gone now. I don't know. If, they haven't explained how that worked yet. And, and as far knows? as I know, yeah, he's just. As far as I know, they haven't explained how Flash he got Thompson. separated from Flash Thompson or what happened to Flash Thompson. So, What's up, man? So right now, Flash Thompson. Uh, man, we talked about it last week, I think. But the unworthy Thor. Such a good ending. Such a good ending, and you, like you said, you did feel kind of underwhelmed at first. But, but the then more you read it, and right. he explains, it's like, wow, that's a really so powerful, powerful, deep answer. You know what I mean? Such a powerful revelation. If you guys didn't know, um, Thor became unworthy. Two thousand two thousand. Yeah, two thousand twelve. Two thousand uh, during the original Sin arc, which is. Years awesome. ago. Oh, amazing. not only arc. that, it's an amazing arc. Amazing. Like, huge. Must read. It's a it's a cha- it's a life change it's a Marvel universe changing, changing arc. arc. Yeah, it's one of those huge ones. And and Nick Fury from the what, the future? No, it's, it's just Nick Fury. It's like so they talk about I it. I thought it was, it was a different embodiment. No, no it's it's actually Nick Fury is what it is. Okay. So they talk about it, Nick, so it, it it's revealed in this thing at five years old, spoilers, guys. Come on. That Nick Fury has been basically taking care of the world mm-hmm. <laughs> since the first or the second no the second world war during the second world war he yep, meets this guy yep he meets this guy called the man on the wall and basically the man on oh. the wall is supposed to be this character who What's protects up, Josh? the earth from outside, outside alien invasions aliens, by yeah. doing whatever it means necessary he talks about a thing that he's by the time he met any superheroes he had raised worlds and destroyed destabilized galaxies uh, the, it sets him up as a huge character, but what it talks about is su- he's been living off the Infinity Formula for something like so ninety years. Long. He's the oldest Cap, basically, yeah. almost. He's like twenty years younger or something than Captain Which America. Jeez, and he's still alive. And they talk about it that the reason they always say, "Oh, Nick Fury always has life decoys," is because he does. Literally, every time you've ever seen Nick Fury before, before that was a life model decoy. He never leaves his little cape. Joss Whedon and Batgirl. Yeah, we were talking about that. We were earlier. We we. We don't know, man. I mean... 2012 became under. Thank you, Terrence Hill. The most awkward thing about it, Josh, is that we're getting all these announced DC films, and we don't really... We, we haven't seen what DC has to show. No, they're not building up their universe. They're not building up, And well, we talk about they're, they're relying so heavily on Batman again. And, and, and recently, Gotham City Sirens, you know, got announced. It's like, okay, so now we're kind of leaning on a Harley Quinn edge, and I'm like... Uh, there's we don't a lot. even have like the there's best Joker. The thing is, the no, Suicide just... Squad was good, but did it good, do good enough to launch the entire universe? Did Batman vs Superman do it? No, obviously not. We've talked about that. <laughs> Josh loves Batman vs really? Superman, oh, and I'm in between about Batman vs Superman. I gave it my I rating. I thought it was about six and a half, seven, yeah. six. For me, I have to do six, six and a half. Yeah, but that's me. Yeah, and uh, understandably, but. I, the thing is, you told me that the going, Ultimate man. Edition is better, which it I is. still go see the Ultimate. I honestly think the problem with that film was there was too much film surrounding all the good shit. There was a ton of exposition. A ton. I mean, like... What's I want the... to see a great Batgirl, though. I Josh, do. If I, if I can be honest with you, I don't know how I feel about it coming up so soon, but I want to see a great Batgirl. But, like I said, how do you introduce her? How do you put it in? <laughs> Emma Stone as Batgirl? Uh, Maybe. I don't know. We'll have to see about that one. You guys, sh- uh, the video game was also great with Banna, yes. You guys should make a group we can join. It'll build more of a community than a like page, I guarantee. Oh, that's a good idea, actually. I say 7 out of 10, Batman vs. Superman. Yeah, I agree, Susie. Definitely a higher 7 out of 10 for me. The dialogue was so heavy. Like, it was just like, dang, we don't even get to see Batman and Superman and interact part, that the much. The dialogue wasn't even there, is the thing. It's like, it has all this time with so much <laughs> so dialogue. So much time! time. So much time. Like, you can save them or you can do whatever you want. 30 seconds of sitting and looking into the sky. Right? It's like... Okay. Batman Batman pops up in scene, shines bat light. Like, that's what that's it literally, says. It's like, what? Literally. And I'm just like, like... The other thing we talked about, how Jesse Eisenberg wasn't my ideal Lex Luthor, but he did better than I thought he would. 
He did better than I thought he would, but he was not. No, he's not. Good. He doesn't fit the character of Luther. Luther was always a larger, intimidating, intimidating, very cunning man. Like, which was like, the point because then you show Superman next to Lex Luthor and he dwarfs him, and you realize how big Superman is. Let's see. Here I got you. Um, Have Batgirl come in for Gotham City Sirens. That would be good if you had her instead of Batman, because I mean he's got bigger fish to fry. The hype anyway. let it down. That's the bigger problem too. Is the hyper? We talk about it. the reason Batman versus Superman is so is because it needs to be greater than where it was. And that it hype realistically was huge. isn't a bad movie. It really isn't. It's a decent movie, but it needs to be a great movie. Because that hype was just exponential. Like it was almost Avengers level hype. Oh, like, it was probably it was beyond huge. Avengers level. We talk about Batman versus Superman and never got us. We talked about it and got it in comics. We talked about it and got it in animation. We've never got anywhere and close to And I just meant, like, that action. movie in general. Like, the craziest thing about that movie is, like, we've been hearing about it for years, man. Years of development. Oh, and We've wanted it all for years, too. That's the thing. That, we've been waiting changes. on Batman Superman since the comics came love out. Love the dialogue. Nine out of ten for me. But I just really love dark movies. I, I didn't feel it was that dark, I just, either. I, I, I thought it was actually kind of a darkish film. I but the, the problem with it was that there was not enough interaction between Batman and Superman. And then you have okay, you have the last 30 minutes. Let me let's let's explain just the last 30 minutes alone or maybe 40 45. Batman versus Superman is in the last 45 minutes. Yep. Um what let's see Doomsday comes out of nowhere in the last 45 like I said, minutes. So much Everything is squished down into the last 45 30 it's, minutes. Like I said, like, I just I really I didn't first of all I didn't think it was that dark of a film. The darkest part is the ending, which I won't spoil. Um, yeah. Literally, that's the only dark part of the whole movie. All right, people die all the time. Yes, is the most expensive for indie example, film ever. I agree with that. Oh God, it yeah. probably is. Uh, but for my example, the Punisher films, every Punisher film is way darker than that movie. Hundred percent, hundred percent. No question. I would say it's like darker than a Marvel film, but it's not like whoa, like holy shit. Like you know, it's yeah. darker than like. Like Iron the thing, Man we'll, we'll, we'll like admit that. that all Marvel films are basically. Pretty like action comedies. Yeah, basically. they are. They're action comedies. Yeah. They're, they're very all around. There's people die, etc., etc. But it's not nowhere well, near as dark. Most people in ev- any movie I've died ever is Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, you wouldn't expect it. Well, because they kill like a whole well, half a planet. Half, well, half of a planet, a whole fleet, everything. Like, all they kinds just of stuff. Destroy so yeah, many they do, people. and they do. But like I said, even if the, if you're going for darkness, like uh, Watch Watchmen's a million times darker. Uh, you know, there's just movies. That's what I said. Batman versus Superman tried to do Watchmen, in my opinion. It was kind of the same with Civil War. The marketing ge- was genius to surprise us with Spidey. Which we talked about there's the Iron Man Spidey. Yeah. It was kind of the same with Civil War. Marketing was genius to surprise us with Spidey. That's probably why, what saved it, in my opinion. Civil War, I thought, was was pretty good, actually. I um, agree, Terrence. If Justice League is a flop, I'll be disappointed in DC for a while. Marvel is... Especially uh, cinematically. I will say, I won't agree with that Marvel is darker and have more intriguing plots. I will say DC's movie-wise, darker, except for The Punisher being specific, the only movie. Uh, I will say TV-wise, Marvel is darker because they absolutely because they've chosen a media that Netflix allows that will allow them, them to be dark. as dark as they want. Like I said, any scene in Gotham is dwarfed by the one scene in Iron Fist. Oh, and FXX. I mean, let's talk about uh, Legion. Legion. Jesus, it's dark, <laughs> super dark, and I mean, crazy, up. bloody, and messed up. Like nothing. Like I said, there's nothing like it in the other ones. There's it's so unique because of that. And that's that's Fox's Marvel. That Fox's is Fox's Marvel, Marvel is making some moves, man. Fox's Marvel is doing a lot. Of Logan, things. Deadpool, Legion, they're making some and, moves. And that's exactly the point, though, Michael. It's like you can't compare a Batman and Superman movie to Punisher. It's like comparing Night and Day. Yeah. That's the point. Batman and Superman will never be that dark. Never. Not until you do an Injustice movie. But he's not, right. They're just not. And, and, what, and trying to frame them in that dark light is this mistake. And what he means by dark, d- too, is just in the superhero movie genre in general. Maybe beside Punisher, because that... But we're talking about, like, the Justice League core, the Avengers yeah. core. That kind of core set of movies, it is. It's a dark one in comparison to, like, maybe... But Gallagher, even then, Guardians like I said, it's like, so. that's so light. Like, those characters are light. You're, they're not... <laughs> they don't kill, first of all, for the most part. Superman did in two because someone made him. Basically, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I fucking had to kill one guy. Good job. Oh, you're talking about 20. Man, still? I, mean, I am, but it's yeah. like, you kill one dude. All right, yeah, sir, job. Blah. Forcibly, you know. Yeah. Had to do it. Had to do it. So Whereas, so like, FXX the is a whole new level of darkness. What's up, Julian? Good to see you. Yeah, it is. It, it's unfortunate. It, it, there's, like I said, just for darkness, and for me, darkness with darkness is, is probably... I agree, Terrence. It's not touching. 
There, there's just some things in the in the yeah. DC cinematic form. There's like, like I said, there's more of the darkness, but there the Marvel does. And Josh Whedon was a big part of this. Marvel does what is I consider all around entertainment. They do. They yes. didn't focus on it as just a comic book movie. They said, all right, we want to make this as entertaining a movie we can about comic books. Mm-hmm. And so that means you add tragedy, you add comedy, you add uh, you know twists and mystery. That's what a that's what a and the best thing about that formula is the fact hey, that Julian. they they changed up things right the, from the comics to make it a lot more entertaining. Right, that they way did, it's not they made so... changes, they made moves, they did things with the plot that were and incredibly even stuff different. Like, like even stuff like uh, which people were all, all harshed on the Black Nick Fury, not realizing that that's pulled from the Ultimate Universe. Nick Fury, yeah, it is. Who is the son the of Nick son Fury, of Fury and is named Nick Fury, by the way. Yeah. So we'll maintain Guardian. But even on, aside from that, that was a bold move to put Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. There's mm-hmm. there are a lot of bold moves. By the and, and by the way, everyone, the I, I want to say one of the boldest moves with Marvel is actually Guardians of Galaxy because that That's whole backstory is completely original in it's, the cinematic. Universe. Not even just that; just it's about. such an unfounded, untested, untested idea. Formula. Realistically, compared to Batman and Spider Man and. Even Iron Man, these are 60-year-old concepts versus a 20-year-old concept. Well, here's my thing, and we'll get to it a little bit more in comics, because I've been reading a lot of Guardians of yeah, the Galaxy. Yeah, so good. Annihilation Conquest. Oh, the Annihilation. That's fucking... what started Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, Star, well, Star Wars there, was like, we but... have to... Well, no, that's... The, I mean, at the very end, Nova runs up to her, and he's like, well, yes, uh, Peter Quill said he was going to start this team so that a threat like this never happened again. That's what started the Guardians of the Galaxy. In this rendition in the MCU, it's, right. it's just as good in a different way. Right, they changed it up very heavily from the original, especially the whole thing, like, Mantis is such an original, such part, an original of part of the Guardians, G-O-T-G. which, coming to mind later, that the original Guardians are only formed under the persuasion of Mantis, yep. uh, which is a whole thing. Also, we'll, uh, we'll respond to some comments. Uh, Julian, I think the direction was incorrect with DC. I think it was. I think they're making the steps in Justice League to rectify that. To rectify that. And Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is freaking amazing. It's hard for the studio, though, because the comic book fans want a certain thing a certain way, and the casual fans wouldn't care for it. Which is obvious. uh, That's uh, that's true, side. You know, they're gonna... But that's any... uh, It's true. 90% of the time to kids, you know... It is true, but that's the difference, is being able to adapt your medium... To a large number. And like I said, even the fact, for me, like I said, the, the Batman vs. Superman is not dark. Like, on their darkest day, they are the, the the lightest heroes. You know what I mean? On their darkest day, Batman is still never kill anyone. On his darkest day, Superman is well, still I mean, supposed to be... I mean, in that movie, he was I, folks down. Trust me, and that's why they've changed it. That's what I said. You changed their characters in those movies. Yeah, you changed them were to so frame pissed them off in, about in that. the dark like, light. Think about it. The director himself Definitely explained Terrence. it. What's up, Shiloh? Good now, to see and you. And I will agree. So D- what DC has to do is what I hope they're doing in Justice League in lightening up the characters. Like, they're dealing with a, an invasion of an alien force. You see it in the trailer. And they're joking. That is a superhero team. Exactly. And, and they talk about it. That's not necessarily, oh, we're making light of danger. That's being a person in danger. You know, That's being light in the face of it. I would disagree with that, though. I don't know how true they are to the comics, but I believe they stray too far. For Guardians? This. Oh, there we talked about That's what we were saying. They, oh, start, yeah, they stray, stray totally, totally, far, totally from, far away from That's the what comics. we're talking about. All of the Marvel <laughs> Universe has become... While keeping the MCU tenets, is its own universe now, right? There's no connection basically to it's the, it's 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 Earth nine nine blah blah blah. Yeah, they like have their own number nine, for it and everything. Yeah, like it's, that there is no they they took the familiar concepts and made new is there a new mixtape adaptable. No DC. Oh, oh DC, DC, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. they they do. Yeah, I although the Batman versus Superman storyline is kind of very close. Yeah, it, it actually spots. comes pretty close. Um. What do you think if they actually brought Supes back in, back in a black suit? Yeah, it seems yeah like that would be cool. Jaws Price. Sure, Justice League animated And that was what, what like I want to see. Yes. That is, that what, is we want. what we want. Every, that, because, unfortunately, for and it's unfortunate for the older generation of, like, 50s, 40s even, people who grow up with the the comics and the comic. And right, well, stuff. we grew up with Justice League and Justice League Unlimited and Batman. Batman. So those are the ones that we kind of attune to. Black... 
black suit Superman. That would be, be really cool. Yes, and we the, want that. We, we want that, that. Is that is honestly the, and it dies him icon. down a little bit. You know that soup. He comes back to life weaker. He's like kind of just like you know like I'm still kind of fucked up. Uh, I gotta have the black suit on to absorb more sun rays. Like we want to see that soups, man. There's a lot of great stuff we want to see. Do you guys think they're building up soups to be the leader in the Justice League in this edition? I don't feel like they're making it. Big. Are they though? Are, because. In all these promo picks, he's in the center of all the picks. He's not yeah. actually in the real ones. He's not in any of them. Those are all fan made. That's with him very in true. Uh, yeah, all the he's fan- actually not. Is he get? He's, yeah, he's showing up because he's on the cast list. He's on the cast list, but that doesn't mean he actually but shows up as a, Superman. He well, could show no, up as a body. He's he's on the second. He's the second member of the cast list. Now that's like he's right yeah. under Ben Affleck. Uh, that might just be a casting thing, though, because of his level of character. His character is important in the movie. I think. Oh, it might be. I I have to see first. I yeah, we, I think we, it that's would be, the thing about it. Here's the thing: it would be detail. very cheap to bring to kill him off at the end of. Oh, that's the other thing. We're getting into a spot where like <laughs> Alfred <laughs> killed Superman in the comics once. Yes, he did. Yep, injustice. A legit <laughs> old school AS version of Justice League. I'll watch that. That would be a good adult swim version as well. I don't means. think he's a huge part of the movie. Yeah, I don't think yeah, he is. Yeah, he's, he's not huge as. Like I said, if anything, be. I think they have him show up as either Clark Kent or as. Uh, Wouldn't that a be some shit if he just shows up as Clark Kent? He's like, oh, hi. Uh, uh, good to meet uh, you guys. There, <laughs> there is, there's a whole storyline in. Even in the Injustice line, Alfred beats the crap out of Superman. Beats him down. Basically, everyone. And they talk about it. It's like, wouldn't you, though? Superman relies on super strength, super speed super hearing super sight super super everything so if you were as strong as him you'll beat the crap out of him a- absolutely you'd have more training more uh, theoretically alfred has trained a ton, ton. he's a man poor former military they talk about it, though that in the injustice series there's even a line where he says you think you can beat me because you took some pill he's like bam yeah i do he knocks the shit out knocks him dude I also remember Superman killing four people before. Yeah, he's killed more than four. I mean, Supes has I don't, done his days. All right, so Julian asked, well, do you guys think they should use Netflix Defenders and they should be put in the actual Marvel Cinematic Universe? Nope. I don't think they should. I think they have... Kids, they have First, I think it's all right eventually, maybe. Right now, Defenders needs to stand on its own to be strong. That's You can't rely and piggyback because then when the other series dies, you die. Exactly. And that... and. Let's admit, the MCU, the, the Avengers stuff, is coming to an end slowly. Yep, and they are trying to build up the next the, phase, mm-hmm. which is great. They've, they've done Marvel. it. Marvel. Yep, which is what I'm hoping Black Panther builds up the beginning of the next phase. Yeah, I'm hoping Black he's... Panther. I think the next phase is going to be You think they'll do an Alpha Panther? Fight thing? Yeah, actually. Or we they were might do an Ultimates. The... Ultimates could, too. We need two characters, though, that are obscenely powerful. Three characters that we yeah, don't have that are obscenely and powerful. we have not seen or heard a thing about them. No, and not only that, they're fairly fairly they have a brief appearance, maybe in a flashback or something maybe. like that. Maybe so. He did maybe not so. Oh, uh, hey, Mom. <laughs> I w- I'll be surprised if the Defenders don't show up. Maybe in cameos for Infinity War 2, but it's too many characters already. What, let's see. What about that Nathan Summers movie, though? Can't wait for that Cable movie in X-Force with him. Yeah, I, th- I think it'll be interesting, but we have to see... First of all, X Force isn't going to go through until Deadpool does good. Yeah, that's and, the and, way it is. That's just it, the way it is. It's, it's in production, but the problem is we got it. Like you said, we got to see how Deadpool two pans out, but we gotta also see how Cable himself plays out in Deadpool. That's the 2. thing. That's that's the, we gotta yeah. see Cable actually. Is appear. he gonna be a Cable? Is he strong enough to carry a solo role and as does, that character? And does anybody know? You might know. Uh, did he? Did the guy who played Zod? Did he actually get confirmed? I think he. Might I think have been he's confirmed. just like a. I think he's like a no, major think, look, like I a think, hard. I think, I think he's greenlit? confirmed. But yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure. If anyone else knows and can tell us, I think he got hard. Confirmed confirmed recently hmm. because they were talking about the other hard com- confirmation at the same time domino domino yeah which was <sighs> that it's a it's a black it's, girl yeah, it is but i can't remember what her name what about was. the man um so like i said if you can tell us on that one we'd love yeah if to you know. guys know uh I, I remember them saying that they were taking a very hard look at him i'm just not sure if they actually confirmed it yet i, I feel oh like he has been confirmed but you know deadpool 2 is going to be great and they will build up to that they have to, and he has been confirmed. Okay, good to know. I'm, I'm really glad that that guy... Uh, I think he'll do a good job. I think he'll do a good job. Uh, DC are trying to do... Yes, they're doing too much. It took so Marvel quick. Years, years to build this cinematic universe. Years. Ten years, basically. They talk about it. It was like 2008 or something. Was it Iron Man or 2004? 2005 or four, dude. I mean, yeah. Iron Man stems back a long time. Because I know Avengers Hulk, came out in 2012. Hulk is technically the start. 
at, yeah, the Incredible Hulk, which is like two thousand one, right? Two thousand three, I think. Is it? Four. Am I okay? Because there were two of them. So there was the two thousand one, and then there's the two thousand three. Yeah, one. that that. The okay, so it is probably two thousand four. I think for Iron Man, if anyone remembers, Iron Man two thousand eight. Really? Oh, wow. So I was. So it is ten years though. Well, well, that Hulk is 2006 or something. DC wants to do DC, so much because they realize... DC it's, knows this, though. Yep. They're capitalizing in every other medium, and I think that's why they're really well, I mean, tight. it's just... Here's my problem with DC. It's like, every week, oh, now we're making Gotham City Sirens. Now we're making Bad Girl. It's too much. Now we're making a Nightwing. I can't it's focus. like, oh my god, good. Like, let's, can we I can't just focus on the Justice and thing? Not only, not only that, can we focus no. on the title set we have now making better? Like, we have Legends of Tomorrow... Pretty shit, from what I've heard. <laughs> struggling. I couldn't get through the first episode in one struggling. run, so or for the, through the first season in one run, and that tells you something. I binge watched Iron Fist in one day. DC. Oh yeah, that was a lot. But yeah, it's just like that's not good. Um, the the shows linger, and and the fact that Arrow has up and down seasons, like DC just tries to take on so much at once that they can't balance the entire ship except their animation department. Yeah. Whoever's running that is just... They are on, on, on point. And that's what I'm saying. They, uh, honestly, even in comics, in every other aspect, DC's doing well. Yeah. They're outselling comics, Marvel in comics. Animation. Oh, yeah, they're far far outselling Marvel right now. I mean, Marvel... I think that has a lot to do, though, with the fact that Marvel has put a lot into... And here's the thing. We talk about their the DC animated shows, but if you've ever actually checked out Avengers Assemble, the newest one, I think. Pretty good. It's really, it's close to a lot of the recent storylines. Mm-hmm. It includes a ton. Here's the thing. The one that got shut down that it was, in my opinion, the best one and probably the best one, literally, of the recent years mm. uh, up there with Young Justice was Agents of Smash with Hulk. Really? One of the reasons being... There was so much cross reference in there, way more than you got in Legends DC. is much better season two. Make I a heard group. that. I hate waiting all week, LL. <laughs> all right, we, we'll, we'll make a group. We'll get on making a group, guys. We, we'll, yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and make a group. We will group. make a group. Uh, it'll be a good place for us, too, because we post photos every week that you guys might not see on the I like page. like the animated series, too. It's stupid, but it's fun and does stupid and fun decently in season two. Agreed, Josh. Reverse Flash adds so much. Oh, okay, so I forgot he's the enemy in that oh, season, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. Uh, What's we'll up, Sarah? That. Uh, that that probably will change, especially because we've talked about it. Reverse Flash is probably one of the best, the villains, best villains in that, uh, in that period. Genre. I mean, like, yeah. in all the genre of TV shows. He, he, just, really he played that character really well. Uh, for both versions, Eobard and the uh, Wells, Wells version, guy. Yeah. both played him so well. Wells actually does a very good job at changing his character. Yes, he does. Hey, Sarah. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, wow, this is your most liked most live video? Live yes, live thanks, video. guys. Yes. You guys thanks, helped gosh. us pass a, a milestone. We're happy that 11 is the milestone, too. Like the, This uh, week with the, the venue change, we're really trying up new stuff, and we're, we're having fun with it. So we really do enjoy you guys coming through. We'll, tr- we'll try to get that discussion up soon. Ebert Thon is one as Legends on, on Legends, Legends is we'll one of the him. best because we'll I thought that, that he then. was awesome in uh, in Flash, but if he's even better in uh, Legends, Legends, I'll have to check that. Yeah, season I will have two to check it. Then I'll but it does mean I have to get burning through, through season, season one is going to be rough. That is that's all right. We'll get through it. We've There's done it one thing that we haven't yet to address on the cast at all that Inhuman show. Oh well, we've talked about it. We just didn't talk about it in depth. So are you guys excited? I'm excited. I'm super I've excited read a lot of the the Inhumans past stuff, a lot of the side stuff, stuff with Kang, stuff with the Inhumans versus X Men. I literally went out and bought like almost the whole Inhumans nice. versus X Men thing. Now, uh, I think I have to get six, and that's the last one I have to get. X Men Prime's about to start up. Oh, that's gonna be so good. There's so many other ones too that are going Inhumans down. Prime. Uh, there's there's just a ton of stuff. A ton of them. I will say that I am angry at one aspect of the new X Men thing, and that is the Jean Grey. I hate the new Jean Grey. I fucking hate her. And I didn't at first, but I do now, because she's a fucking bitch. You are passionate about that. There's not a lot of Marvel character heroes I don't like, and so when I don't like one, I let people know. The new What's Jane wrong Grey with her is, for you? She is basically everything that was wrong with the original Jean Grey, with none of the benefits of having been gr- grown up. Mm-hmm. She is none of the control... She has all of the power, none, none of the of control, control, none of this common sense abilities. She acts like, like I said, like a spoiled teenager playing with people's emotions and annoying. minds whenever she wants to. Ugh. I really hate her, honestly. And then she makes promises she can't keep, all kinds of shit. Like, I really don't like New Jean, and this is coming from a guy who loved Jean in every other incarnation, including Jean's Dark been amazing. Phoenix. Oh my goodness, ever since the cartoons, I've loved Jean. Even Grey. the most, oh uh, god, I hate that. 
and some mountain inhumans has me pretty stoked. He was great in Hell on Wheels. That's good to hear. Yeah, because yeah, I'm super excited that. for that. And the vil- uh, she the guy from high. Game of Thrones is actually in it too. Uh, yeah, as I'm Maximus, sure which Maximus. is great because he basically already He's played an Maximus. Amazing character in Game of Thrones. Like he, like you said, he basically already played a different version of Maximus. Yeah, just he an is evil, super dickwad. evil. Yep, evil genius, dickwad, but. And he's super, super sadistic. Yeah, which well, is what you like, need. Oh, Maximus is do. basically watch the world burn character, kind of character. Like, <laughs> I'm doing it to take over, but really I don't care if everyone I just want to destroy everything. If I uh, what I want to see is how they're going to get Black Bolt betrayed, because that's going to be the biggest, hardest part, in my opinion. That's it. It's Mel. I, oh, is they, did they already pick him? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's the Hales on Wheel guy. I don't know how that's going to go. I want to see. I, think I, I just got to see it, man. I got to wait to see It's hard to play a character who doesn't talk. Yeah. Because he shouldn't talk at all, basically. I mean, I haven't seen Hell, Hell on Wheels. Maybe he has already portrayed that character. Maybe he has. I don't think so, though. I don't think there's very no. many. I don't know. Let me tell you what. The last character I saw portray that was uh, Silent Bob. Mm. Yeah, because Black Bolt is just like... Literally, he never talks until something needs to be destroyed. Yeah. That's, that's his character and premise. he's the leader. He is the leader. At least she's hot. She is hot, so I will agree with you that. Um, Man, there's so much... Do you think it's about time we move into comic books? Yeah, we might as well just squeeze on into comics. We've been talking about it for a while now. Yeah, we've already been talking about it, so... And and we'll take a sec to maybe show this week's prizes. Yeah, yeah, we'll t- show, show off some of these week's prizes here. We got quite a bit in the lineup, guys. Yes, this week is pretty decent, I'm not gonna lie. There's a... What, do we have four picks Yeah, this we've got four different books this week, and we've got... Three picks? Yeah, we'll start with this one. Uh, which we have a Fantastic Four versus the X Men series, uh, one in a four issue limited. This is a uh, this is a really good man. This is twenty uh, first an- or twenty fifth anniversary first edition, I believe. First of February, nineteen eighty six. Yep, first edition. So it, it it is a great story. I think I actually remember this storyline is a semi alternate universe because of our favorite little super god yep. Franklin, Franklin Richards. Richards. <laughs> Oh, man, everybody's favorite little uh, demigod. (laughs) Uh, On the other hand, we have kind of a matching pair, but, you know, they're separate. We have some X-Men 2 movie uh, comic book prologues, so you'll read these and you would get, you know, some idea of the movie. Obviously not uh, universe canon, but kind of into the uh, the MCU Fox universe, probably, so cool. Uh, And last but not least, Leo's brought us a Justice League vs. Power Rangers issue 1, so... That's a pretty good uh, read. I've I enjoyed a bunch. These are all up for uh, prizes this week. If you like, comment, or share on the page and then like the page, then we will be giving those out. Uh, like I said, we'll do the discussion pages later, but that the prize thing probably won't change. We're always gonna have prizes, guys. I mean, at some point we might even start giving away Funkos. You just gotta it, come we'll back. We'll, and we'll, yeah. we'll we'll keep on updating the prizes. Yeah. But yeah, in terms of comments, man, what you been on this week? Oh, so much. Uh, I t- I just finished a 300-page Dark Horse DC crossover. Wow. Which is great. You get stuff like Justice League and the Predator, Green Lantern versus Alien. Oh, it's all of them? Uh, it's not everything, but it's a decent amount. The main amount. amount. Yeah. And, you know, I, there, I, and then I have went on to an Alien versus Superman one, which is actually it's the second one. They did another one before. Mm. And an alien ver- or a predator versus Superman. There's a ton of crossover with DC. DC yeah. is great. DC is great with the crossovers. And I've been reading. Welcome a bunch. back, Jordan. I did catch up on all of the action comics, all of the Superman, all of the Detective, and all of the Batman. I need to catch up a little more on some of the side characters. I'm caught up on Flash too. Caught I up need on to Wonder get Woman. caught up on uh, caught up on Deadpool action and Detective comics. I got caught up so on bad. all of the Deadpool stuff nice. and, and the not the Spidey stuff, but the Deadpool Spidey stuff. There was another one. There was a big one besides the uh, besides the unworthy Thor, which was a great one. Yeah, there was another one. Uh, what one. is it? I have my list of like comics I go through. Cause so what's up with the primes, man? I don't know, man. That's t- we'll have to see when it comes. Like, there's supposed to be this whole new retro new thing. retro thing of the. I'm caught up we'll on X Men. Occupy Avengers is interesting. Thanos. Which one? Uh, five man, Thanos issue five That's came right. out recently. Oh, and God, yeah, is he good. Is it good? Old man Logan too is actually in a great spot. Yeah, it's coming up on twenty, isn't it? Uh, twenty. Yeah, yeah it's twenty this week. 20. Uh, I'm also caught up on uh, the the Rebirth Justice League. Nice. Let's see what else? I bet that's dope. Oh, it's pretty cool. Also, we talked about how I was I got into Black Hammer this week, hmm. which maybe I'll talk about later. 
This week's suggestion, though, as far as the comics was probably Superman. Superman. Superman, maybe Batman. Batman's in like a little bit of a limbo spot where you're wanting this arc to finish. Mm -hmm. But Superman just finished another arc. I'm on the last stretch of Image Comics of Invin Invincible. Oh, oh, I haven't read it yet. Nice. I'll check it out. I'll check that one out. Yeah, I actually just finished up a ton of Guardians of the Galaxy this week. Um, Catch up. Reread uh, Annihilation Conquest. So good. Catching up on the newest of the Guardians of the Galaxy, where they are. They actually just met up with uh, Star Lord as the King of Spartix. Which is weird. Yeah, which is really awkward. Have you <laughs> Have you read any of the side ones like the Guardians of Affinity or the uh, any of those? I got to branch off. And There's, yeah, they Guardians have a ton of, of Guardian stuff. Like, they have Rocket, Raccoon, and Groot specific series. Yes. A specific Rocket, that Raccoon series. That one is series. amazing, I heard, too. It's actually pretty uh, great. I've read some of the Star Wars You've never stuff read too. a comic site? Kitty. you got to read comics. Yeah, you've got to awesome. read a comic site. They're amazing. They're so, you'll never get the amount of stories in the movies and the TV. As you do the comics. The comics have them all. They have all the greatest stories, lines, all... I have read the Star Lord side story. That's oh my such God. a good one. And the whole, but the whole like Kitty Pride and Star Lord thing is like really weird because it just like he just proposed her and then nothing really happened after that. Well, because he went and became King of Spartix and it was just like, ah. but that was the whole thing. It was like they just fell apart. I mean, it was a yeah, relationship. Yeah, it was just like, and it didn't survive Secret Wars. Was the whole thing. They had their own Secret Wars spin. Mm -hmm. I know that was see, that was Star it was Lord. Like, and uh, Pride. Just, it wasn't that. Just didn't last oh, just time. The. Let's see, yeah, this week, though, Superman comics, and I can give a slight spoiler, is they're returning one of his greatest foes from the the Void, basically. Uh, I'm not going to say, I know I know you're talking about, though. I think you know who I'm talking about, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's classic Superman here. You should know if I, if I even s mention it like that. You said coming from the Void, and that was it? Yep, that should... They weren't popular here in Ireland when I was a kid, so they weren't available in shops. Still aren't really. Hmm. Well, hey, keep on watching. We'll yep. ship you a comic. Yeah, you'll get a win a comic or two. We'll send you one. Uh, what I would suggest in that case, Cy, and what I do personally is online comics. Uh, there's several paid online things and several non-paid online things where you can find a lot of the old ones that you never would find in print anyway. For the sake of legalities, we'll suggest the paid hmm. ones, Marvel Unlimited. Uh, there's, what's it, comic... Uh, Comic Quest or Comic? Is that a paid? It is a paid one. It's Comic DC. Ah, and... yeah, Comic Quest. And there's another one. Uh, there's Comic. Mm, I don't remember. Comicology is Comicology is the one. Yeah, Comicology. That one's a really good that one's medium huge. one. It's where all you get a lot of different ones. Yeah, it's it's pretty much a bunch. Just because it's partnered up with Amazon, you get access to that whole their whole library, list, which is pretty it's big. It's not everything. Kirkman though. superhero comic book ah walking dead yes that'd be awesome then ah that would be great to check out i'm so ca stage, currently so caught up on the walking dead i'm sure invincible would be great i heard that name before Public was that a movie was it was it based off the invincible movie i think it might Let's be see. the other round don't or yeah obviously um don't forget that the public libraries have tons of trades yes they do they do although i don't know about public libraries uh, <laughs> I'm just not knowledgeable, so it's I would have to let us know. Uh, me either. It's fine if you know. If you, you haven't read comics, comics it's that's okay. fine. Just it's check okay. them out. We check suggest you check them out because they're awesome. That's the only. I mean, the best thing about comics is like the a the visuals and b the amount of story you get. The stories are so great, so expansive, so great. Like you get some of the best storylines ever. So what's the the one storyline uh, is uh, it's the new Brotherhood of Evil movie. Mutant storyline, but it's the one that based, that was based on our popular post this week of the Wolverine oh, the saga Wolverine with Dawkins. Yeah. That's called the the Return of the Brotherhood, I think, of Evil Mutants. Nice. Uh, that's the Wolverine saga. And Dawkins. And uh, yeah, that's a huge thing. If you haven't seen the post we posted around earlier this week, was it's a picture of Wolverine and his son, and it's the quote I believe is Wolverine doesn't get to hold his son Dawkins in his arms until after he drowns him. In so a sad. Yeah, super sad. What's up, Samantha? Thank you for oh, coming through. dude. Uh, so, we, I think we talked about... Did we talk about this last week with the returning character? Oh, right, Wolverine? right. Might be... Well, they talk about it's like a Hulk Wolfie comp. Yeah. Or oh. no, we talk about the other one. You're talking about the other one. I yeah, know which one you're talking about. Who's going to come back? Right, who's on the cover of one of the primes or whatever. Or somebody. It's like, ah. Uh, I would probably see Biddy and Doggy. Dawkins. Wolverine hasn't been dead, dead long. that long. When you kill a character as big as Wolverine, you need to keep him dead a For while. A while. A while, a couple of years. Yeah, and it's only. I mean, been look right at how here. long Two Thor years? has been unworthy. Yeah, and that's just and that's unworthy. just unworthy. Think about, I try to think about it. Uh, the, I think the longest lasting 
technical longest lasting death, whatever, when they did all the, you know, this doesn't count because they got brought back for a while, or mm-hmm. this doesn't count because they weren't dead technically. It, it turned out Barry Allen was for the longest time the longest lasting dead character. Yeah, he 20 was. years or something, I think. 28? <sighs> what? Yeah, dude. He dies at the end of Infinite Crisis, and Wally West is the Flash, Flash until, until uh, Rebirth, Rebirth almost. Rebirth. Or t- uh, New 52. Yeah, because you get Flash the other Flashes, but they're all Kid Flash and Impulse, and Wally West is the Flash Dang, since, like, I forgot all about even. that, dude. They talk about it. There's a whole big thing about it Read because a list of, of 90s DC and Marvel. has read a list of 90s DC and Marvel a lot. Excuse me. Started reading them again after all these movies started cranking out. I read as a kid a little bit because my older brother was from the era of the 80s when you still read and had a lot. Because I'm not going to lie. By the time I was old enough, it was not affordable anymore to buy comic books. It's still really, unless you go and get old comic still books. still tough, yeah. Like, I mean, fi- new comic books are like five bucks, man. A piece. Good ones, five bucks. And as a kid? Th- four to five. As a man. kid, that was a whole day of raking yards, man. Right? <laughs> it's like, you got ten bucks. All right, where's Jeez. my two comics? I'll finish them in ten minutes. But the library was my godsend. I read so, I actually got into comics besides DC and Marvel at the library. library, I think Dark Horse, I started reading Sonic What's up, Jordan? That was the funny Sonic, that's awesome. I read Transformers. Transformers, too. Yeah, there were a couple of them. They had the Dinobot comics. Uh, The Dinobot comics were hilarious. They were great. There's so many, the, I always remember the one PlayStation Dinobot game. Where it was like a platformer. Wow, I forgot all about that. I only remember it because I remember game. Well, first of all, guys, for those who aren't gamers and don't know from back then, games were a lot harder, harder back then. So much harder. Way harder. There was the, first the of all, further back you go with games, the harder, the they, harder get. they get. For the most part, and which is why if you've ever played the original, I heard Second Nintendo and Charles has comics. Yes, they do. Yes. They have a dollar bin. They have a lot of stuff. And There's every time, now my and my, then, my uh, best suggestion though, as far as affordability, is going to be Mile High. Mile High. Mile High has a they twenty-five have all cents of bin. The, they have all the cheapest. They even have a free bin. I think they do. They have Charles, free days, like, once a month, too. Yeah, they, There's they've... definitely the outlet there if you are dedicated. And like I said, I just suggest you do it because it really is worth I would say for even more money saving, Marvel Unlimited. It's just it's the way. It's a month. Dude, it's unless when you do the, the, the thing. The I think thing. I pay 70 bucks a year. When you do specials, they have two for one month. I haven't had, year specials. I'm still it's... on my first year subscription. Nice. I have, and I've used it. I can tell you, oh, I've used it. What's up, Christian? Welcome back, man. Uh, not only, the, the great thing about Marvel is the thing is you're not going to get the newest releases because it takes six months to go from print to, print to digital. And honestly, anywhere you go, it's going to be at least three. Yeah. Even Comixology is not going to You got to give it time. You're going to have you know? to give it time. Except for the tax sites, which we don't, we don't advocate. Uh, <laughs> we don't advocate. Paid only. Paid only is because we're, you know, we're legitimate. <laughs> Uh, but only. more importantly is the fact that uh, these comics, like I said, the only way to stay updated 100% is to buy physical, but the, the comics on those sites are dated back to the 60s. You can read every single X-Men from the from beginning. From the freaking beginning. From the beginning. From the point when they were called X-Men to when they were called Uncanny X-Men. Literally, all of it. All of it. 500 issues or something? Ridiculous amounts. And, and that's not to say, I'm sure DC might have something too, but I'm just telling you, that's a great place to go online is the way. And the comic, really, it's the stories. Like you, you said, you DC never get those. Like, yeah, Comixology is the only place DC's, that's that's where they're lacking is they're not They don't have releasing. a digital, yeah, they don't have a God, strong really, digital side. We should, really, uh, we should really pitch that to them. So right, hey, like, DC, guys, get on your digital game, because Marvel Unlimited is doing really well right now. But I think um, it, the the thing that they're afraid of is the lack in sales of physical, because that does was that's why Marvel that does is, suck. People don't suck understand that that physical. that is why Marvel isn't doing as well in sales, and they're like, oh, Marvel's not doing as well. No, Marvel just switched their content to online media, and they're making. They basically their money did a way. Spotify for yeah. their own content. They're just like, let's just put all the stuff everyone's online. gonna read it illegally Play anyway, so we might as well just right. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's the way, uh, and we. Don't forget that the public libraries have tons of trades. Yep, they do. Yeah, the public libraries like have said, yeah, so much. Gotta say, Alvaro is totally correct about that. And that, I, like I said, until recently when I wasn't able to go a couple years back, that I personally always went probably once a month and picked up a new stash new of books. Stack. Yep. Uh, comics have been going so well. Like I said, that you gotta check out those action comics Superman mix. That storyline is so great. Um, with the exception of the Green Lanterns, I think it's one of the better comic books. Even... Mm-hmm. Batman has a really good one too, but it's very kind of infuriating because it's one of those things, and it's it's the same level of thing that you have with Superman, 
Mm -hmm. Whereas this arbitrary measurement of skill, it's like, all right, who's more skilled then? Because right. of who and how do you determine that? How do you really express that and show that in an arb and not in a non contextual way you know, or in a good contextualized way? Like, how do I explain this to the, everything mm -hmm. around me? And so you'll find that in the recent Batman. You're like, whoa, what the fuck? Have you read any of the Rick and Morty comics? I've read a couple. I've Heard read all. Really good things about it. I've seen some Pretty really good, good stuff. I will say it's very much along the kind of Samurai Jack Lines comics, if you've ever read those, that yeah. they were like supposed to be a continuation of the story while story, we're waiting. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. Oh. Some of those ja Samurai Jack ones are just boring pickups. The thing is, he set up this whole uh, story idea of like, he picks, so the comics basically in the Samurai Jack comics, if no one's read them, he picks up scraps of this time claw cord that Aku ripped apart. Oh, it's yeah, how yeah, time, yeah, like how he masters time. So he has to go find all the scraps and reassemble the cord. And they never get yeah, to it, obviously, whatever. or whatever. Know, happens. Yeah, it's just kind of like, yeah. Uh, because they're still publishing those. Same with like Futurama comics. They're just side. yeah, Futurama yeah. comics. Are those are really funny though. They're awesome, some really good. Yeah, they're really good, but they have nothing to do with the story. Then again, what's the story in Futurama? You know what I mean? I mean, that's the good thing about comics, right? Is you can escape. Yeah, the you get to a new story and do. And that's uh, Black Hammer. For those who haven't checked it out, gotta check it out. It's basically this concept of a team of heroes who fight a g uh, evil giant force enemy and then get bl like basically banished to this tiny suburban farm town. I know you know what I'm talking about, Michael. This where they can't leave, and and the reason they learn they can't leave, uh, which I which I, I guess I won't spoil because that's the most recent one. Uh, but they can't leave this area or they okay. basically die. And, but wow. it, and it's been like ten years since they saved the world. You know what I mean from this. Basically, I think that it's called the Anti God in the series. That's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's really interesting. They have some cool characters. So, like, one of the characters is a woman who uh, is Wonder Gal or something. She's been a superhero for a long time, but she, her power transforms her into this like form of a little girl hmm. that's super strong, can fly, etc. Like power. Oh wow! It's like reverse but Shazam. It is. It's legit because she gets Shazam. to be like eighty years old, and she's like. You know, that's something I'm thinking. But now, in this current one, she's stuck in her kid body. So she's really an 80-year-old woman. Wow, stuck in a child's body, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, which it's... You gotta see, a couple with a bunch. Then there's a Martian and all kinds of Oh, that's shit. awesome, man. It's really interesting, especially with... The hard part about new universes going into these side comics is they're not the established mythos and characters that we latch onto and love. Like... You might not think about it like this, but a lot of the stuff you love, you love because it's associated with other what things. Other you stuff. Love. Right. And then you learn to love it that way. Cough, cough. Cough, 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 cough. Spider Man bobbleheads. <laughs> Logan, cough, cough. Yep. <laughs> Just saying. It's like you learn to love these things because they've already been associated with so many stories in the first place. Right. And positive things, even in your experience. Like, mm -hmm. like Spider Man. I said, I love the, one of the reasons, yeah, I love Spider Man is I always love the comics. The show was great for me. The. Even the Spider-Man and his amazing friends wasn't was pretty awesome if you ask me. Like I, I liked it, bro. Like I said it's the, even being fifty years old, it's kind of almost holds up the time. It's like Spider-Man. They just did a spoof on that in the newest Deadpool. Oh yeah, that's awesome. It was not though. They have him like oh, yeah. he. So like I'll tell you because it's really so non-canon. It's, it's not good. It is, but it's like so bad. It's one of those Deadpool bad things, like where it's like the whole premise is Deadpool like kidnap Spidey so he can replace him on the team and then he kid and then he convinces Iceman and Firestar that the Sinister Six have killed Spider-Man and so they start I killing them that. oh my yeah, god it's so fucking bad <laughs> it's so bad and like this is why Deadpool is bad is because he's so ridiculous he's great but he's also bad he's yeah. a terrible character <laughs> but he's funny as hell oh shit he, like, he's just so ridiculous at times. The writing of him is... They write him so ridiculous. Yeah, and it Which can go either point. way. It's, it's his point. Mm -hmm. and that, I mean, what, Deadpool the thing kills is, the Marvel Universe. Right. Ridiculous. But even more than that, like, stupid stuff. Like, and it's one of those out-of-context things where it's like, you know, at sometimes Deadpool gets his ass kicked by this person, but then, then he can beat the crap out of, like, all these martial artists. It's like... Right. It's give, like, me some, uh, give me some slack... Uh, and then even more things than that, like Deadpool gets all of the bullshit things. Like they just write him so ridiculously. I like Deadpool more for his character than for the ridiculousness. And putting his character Same. in, honestly, my favorite way to see Deadpool is in a somber context. I doubt he was ever supposed to be permanent. 
Deadpool? Deadpool? Uh, yeah, he was designed as a permanent oh, enemy. A, he's a permanent. He got his own series pretty quickly, actually, if I remember correctly. 90s or something? Yeah, he was actually a 90s yeah, he, creation. He, yeah, he was. I then, he, then he got a series. like. He was very popular, right? He, I don't know if he was ever actually supposed to be permanent, Cy. Si, you know what I mean? Well, but the Deadpool movie had been in talks for since the Wolverine one came out. Like, the Deadpool movie, when did that, like, first I pop mean, up? It, it was more from... It was the Wolverine movie because of Ryan Reynolds' Around portrayal. Around that, yeah. But it, and, and the fact about it is, it's been popular... He's been a popular character even since before that. And that's why... One of the reasons people don't like that movie... Because he wasn't portrayed well. Right. Which is the whole point of him getting his own movie. Why he's so popular again now. Like, he was. He's gotten... He got very popular before even the movie. But, like you said, he's... The the character of Deadpool is supposed to be very much slightly a parody on Slade Wilson. But not really. It's really just a name parody. Mm -hmm. He's really a parody of Spider-Man. When you think about it. Yeah, he's the merc with the true. mouth. He's everything Spider-Man is, but he kills people. Mm -hmm. And has no sense of responsibility. And just... Doesn't really care about the ethics of heroics. Yeah, he just does what he wants for money. And that's what Deadpool was. And I like Deadpool's character for that because he is, he was always this damaged character in a, who tried very much like Spider-Man to levity the situation through comedy. Mm -hmm. And that was what was great. To see Deadpool in these somber situations, in these very deep, powerful moments, and then have that comedy lighting it up and have him questioning these deep things and have the power to do so. Like... Some of the best stuff I love from Deadpool is his meaningful quotes are amazing all the time. Yeah, yeah, like, they actually are. They, they they just they show his character, and that's where's Francis? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like where's Francis? It's the best thing about the some of the Deadpool comics, though, is that when you do get those hints of Wade's character, you like you realize he's not just a jokester. Right, he's like, more he, than the joke. Yeah. He hides behind. He which hides is the whole behind point. that. Right, he hides Ooh. behind a joke and a laugh to to basically. What up, Alex? Hey, Jordan. Uh, but basically to hide the fact that he realizes that, you know, especially Deadpool and Wolverine are susceptible to this, that, you know, his life doesn't really have a lot of meaning. He does, dying has no consequence for him. Yeah, and it's just he like, can't whatever, establish, at that point. And, and that's even the thing, why does Deadpool have no friends? Because why would you establish meaningful relationships when you're going to outlive just watch everybody? Die. Everybody. Every single person, except for, I think, like, Iron Fist lives as long as Wolverine and, uh, Deadpool, and that's about it. That's it. There's very few people who have that longevity in, in let alone gonna live anyway, because how many people die all the time? We talked about that was the whole vibe of the Pride oh, of yeah, the X-Men. Pride of the X-Men. Whereas, stuff. like, it gave the vibe off, like, later in the episode that maybe people died because hey, Wolverine seemed pretty serious about it, but that shitty accent kept it from going anywhere. Yeah. But, yeah, thanks for everyone who's joining. We're doing pretty good. Uh, what other comic books would you say... Dude, uh, in terms of classics, I was gonna say Infinity Crisis. Man. Infinite the cri Infinity the Crisis. Crisis is comics are amazing. They bro. are, and it's Superboy, Superboy Prime doesn't get nearly enough time. No, oh, they, he they brought him back though. Rapes thing. people though. Dude. Oh, he, he fucks people. Up. people. He, well, he's the unrestricted Superman from Silver Age, mm -hmm. so he has all the he powers all of the like power. he beats the crap out of his. But and that's the other thing. He, he's once again on that level of what power contextually do I do and he punches through dimensions and shit. That's just Sheesh. bullshit. He's Might like as well be punching magic. and destroys an entire dimension. Which here was a funny fight to me that I thought was interesting that they made a good point on it. Crazy how Professor X, X nearly outlived Logan. Mm, no. I mean, I mean, he did, but he, the thing is Logan was dying from something else, not from aging. Yeah, and plus, I mean, at that point, Wolverine had... Been gone through centuries of time. Like, oh, yeah, he's already, he's like, older. Two, he's already, like, 200 years old at this yeah, point. Yeah, I mean... It was, I'll, I'll, tell cool what, we, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, right now, in the, uh, the, the comic, the Old Man Logan comic, they're going through his past, and he's, they're currently going through, I think, a portion of the Civil War. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. So... You know, just to give a little context. So, so what about, what Hugh, about the Hugh Jackman came me on Deadpool? Yeah, yeah, yeah and he, he might pop up. He's gonna pop up as himself, which would be awesome. Right. I think that would be the perfect in between, because let's look at well, it. Well, they he can't has to have keep the that right promise, right? And, and you know, he's got to keep that promise. I'm done with Wolverine. There's gonna be a new betrayer, but let's bring him back. It's okay to be late. It's Jordan. okay. We're yeah, just happy you made it. We're still on for a little while, so yeah. Ooh, actually, we're getting pretty close. Aren't Whoa, we? hold up! I haven't watched Logan. Okay, no, not too many spoilers. Too many spoilers, people. Well, I mean, to... Hugh Jackman has said himself, this is last Wolverine portrayal. The last Wolverine. And we've, we've talked about it. I think he said he's hopefully getting a saying who gets to be the next. 
Although, like I said, what do we really want from Wolverine now? Like, here's the thing. Where what do we, we want get it to go? Now? Yeah, I mean, yeah, what's what are, next? What story are you going to tell that that we and here's essentially the, don't get? Here's the issue I'm having. Like, people are like, oh, you can go off of Days of Future Past. Well, he pops, or, or excuse me, you can go after uh, the latest movie, Apocalypse. He pops up in Apocalypse as Hugh, Jack- Hugh Jackman is Wolverine in Apocalypse. He pops up. Even so if it's not like, that, like like I said, yeah. even more than that, not even introducing the actual so actor. actor. But what is the character gonna do? Right. Where's what, Wolverine? Do, what do we go? need Wolverine for? What's right up, now? Tyler? And I love Wolverine. I feel like, like it's gonna, it's gonna be, be funny. Because he already is. Yeah, it's gonna be. Absolutely he is pretty hilarious. Hilarious. But that's my whole point. Is like, I would would I love to see more Wolverine wins? Yeah, but at the same time, what are they gonna do that they haven't done? They've they've covered a lot of his shit realistically badly, but they covered it. Realistically, in all the X one, X Men, X two, X that that's all Wolverine stuff. Like There's realistically, that's all Wolverine. Those. I I hate to say it, but the X Men movies were really just X Men hyphen Wolverine movies. Right, exactly, exactly. Uh, and it, it's, hey, just dropping it's, in it's before I go to work. So Have a great night. Thanks, Tyler. Thanks, man. By the way, you did win, so you just gotta talk to Leo. Yeah, for yeah. Your, let uh, us know, man. Prize. You actually won. Although we did talk about it. The shirt unfortunately was picked by somebody, yeah. and we have to send it to them. So. Sorry about that, Tyler. Tyler. You're gonna have to gonna have to pick another. I'm sorry, bro. Unfortunate. Um, next X Men is better than Deadpool two and Wolverine. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Um, the next X Men may be better. Yeah, the, the director is, said he's gonna promise that it's gonna be better. I'm like, mm, how are you gonna promise say that? that? Yeah, yeah, like, like, like promise. Yeah. Trump promised four years. That's <laughs> right. We'll see. Well, that Bush promised something, and I don't know what it was, but. Thanks for the shares, guys. Seriously, the sharing has been great. Uh, The live views have been great tonight. Great. Everything's been great. Everybody, thank you so much. Yeah, we're getting kind of close to that time, guys. So, did you have some announcements for your personal project? Uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, Yeah. uh, Personally, uh, thankfully, I just received a new AKG microphone, uh, C414. I'm doing more working on that, but I'm going to hopefully produce my album here soon now, thanks to that. Uh, get that done, and hopefully have a show here coming up next month. I don't nice, have man. the details yet, but I'll let you guys know. Also, still doing tons on the video game page and my music page. Uh, if you look up Axel Grave or Failink on YouTube, Twitter, anywhere, uh, you know, check us out. We do gaming music stuff, and we're we're branching out into more like instructional videos and uh, a lot of other stuff. We're hoping to expand a lot because we have a lot going on. Uh, besides that, I think I'm, my stuff's all good. How about you? All right, so I'll address Jordan's comment first real quick. How can the next X-Men be great without Wolverine and Deadpool again? Who knows? Like, I mean... Here's the thing. Some of the greatest Wol- X-Men stories ever told didn't have Wolverine, didn't have and Wolverine in them. And it's like, yeah, we can rope in some new characters, too. That's the I thing. Know, like, like, we've like, covered Wolverine. Like, I love him, but what's but he gonna... This is mainly what we've covered. Wolverine is mainly what we've covered. Let's branch off a little. Yeah, I'd love to I'm see... To Where's go. my video games? Uh, video we didn't games? get to video uh, games. We kind of, yeah, video games. The other thing is the there's releases There's not too many April week week releases heavy. coming up. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts came out. Um, there's also a couple... Like, I don't know. Talk video about games the recent... Just... The big thing is Breath of the Wild. Oh, so Link fail. Definitely. Um, but yeah, guys, for me, on my end, I'm still doing the writing. I'm still publishing articles every day. I do have my own website now, so if anybody wants, like, me to do a certain review, you can request, let me know, shoot me an email, shoot me a message on Facebook, whichever. If there's something you need covered, I do a lot of writing services on the web now, even more than just blog writing. So anything you guys need, I'm doing a lot of content now. I'm starting to get into Photoshop, starting to really set up my YouTube videos, so that's coming soon. Be on oh, the lookout for that. I was going to say, uh, we post... Probably, I think we post daily now, right? For all the meme stuff. Yep. Yeah, and we've been we doing that for a little daily basis. Yeah, we've been posting new memes daily in comic effects. Uh, and group to come soon. Now. Yeah, maybe. we're gonna have a group and hopefully share it there where we can all share stuff with each other and mm-hmm. comic convo, com conversate. Uh, the other thing is, if you went and followed, uh, I think it's my Instagram at axelgrave 3 d you might catch some previews of some of our yeah, he's jumping meme posts. Some of them up. Yeah, I'm just giving giving a nice little. You know, uh, product diversification across media fields. Heck yeah, man. You know, got to give people a reason to come check out the Instagram. So, uh, check it out. You know, we've got a couple on there. I think the one, what was the one? I didn't post one yet today. I will later. What was the one I posted yesterday? Was it the uh, the Loki one? It was the Loki one. Yeah, it was the Loki <laughs> one. Uh, and so it's you know when you are your team and there's a nice picture of all the Lokis, all Lokis. of the ages. <laughs> you know, they're not all twelve of them or however many. I love Cat Loki. Yeah. <laughs> cat Loki's my favorite Loki. Oh, is, Although I think there's supposed to be a cow Loki too, which they didn't what? include. Yeah, they didn't include it, but I think there is a cow, cow Loki. I'm telling you. 
Okay. Thank yous. Same okay. name for the Netflix. Oh, yeah. No problem. More YouTube channels. We'll get you some of those. So there's lots of great stuff. Comics Explained is really one of my favorite new ones as far as comic stuff. Man. And we're going to, I mean, we could even start exploring stuff like that. We'll, we're going to be. We'll hopefully get some stuff like that. Uh, especially as the new stuff comes out. Maybe we'll, those will be our spoilers is basically reviews and breakdowns. Uh, and so they're obviously spoilers. Uh, besides that, uh, like I said, please like, comment, share, and then like the page for a chance to win one of the prizes. Yep, and tomorrow we'll be announcing who w does win the prizes. We'll yep, go ahead uh, and get that scheduled. Probably in. roughly around 5 oh, o'clock, 5, 5 p.m. Uh, General Mountain Time in America. That's where we're based, Colorado. Um, and so hopefully keep tuned, and you will receive your prizes within two weeks. We should be mailing out these prizes, actually, uh, this week at mm -hmm. the latest. Yeah, guys, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yes. Have a combo. Well, thank you guys so much. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get a exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.